well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come to God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed, son. Stay blessed. I, I pray that God will open my heart for you to understand how that I desire that these secret things that belong to God be communicated unto you. I tell you, you will break barriers. You will shatter limits. You will walk like a God upon the earth. He said, have I not said ye are God? I challenge your spirit tonight there's more God can do with you this is not the best there's more he can do if you will give him your attention if you will take serious you don't need to be great he can take you as you are you don't need to be inside you may be outside he can take hold of your life forget about the little you know or you don't know just open your heart say lord i don't know and i humble myself change me and the power of the holy ghost will pick you in a flight in the spirit and when he's done with you you will be nothing short of a wonder that's what he did with our lives lord let none of our services ever be ordinary hallelujah see brothers and sisters let me tell you something if I had the opportunity to hear what many of you are hearing many years in my life I promise you I would have been ten times greater than I am today the Bible says they had the word just like we did. If you don't receive the word and pay attention, you will pay for it tomorrow. Every day it gets harder. The Bible says in the days of Samuel, when the word of God was cast, it will not always be at a platter of gold. A day will come, you will have to trade a lot of things for it. Get it now. He said, Doth not wisdom cry, crying in the city for as many who will desire her. He said, Get wisdom, get understanding, exalt her, and she will promote you. A crown of glory, an ornament of glory, she will bring upon thy head when thou dost embrace her. He said, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. He said, The labor of the fool weary at him. Not because there is no way. He does not know the way to the city. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Let's save time.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 2. We have to run. I want us to finish early today. Thank you, Jesus. Never take for granted what you are receiving. Many of you get so familiar. But I commend as many of you who come every week with a hunger. Because you know that God is doing something in your life. Thank you. One of the mysteries that will never stop amazing me is how God can turn an ordinary man into a sign and a wonder. Listen, brothers and sisters, if it were by qualification, some of us would not be in ministry. Hallelujah. But God knows how to take the foolish things and the basest of all things. That's what he's doing with your life. Hallelujah. If you, if you don't study what God is doing in your life, you will not even notice you are growing. Hallelujah. And for many of you, you will get to a point in your life where you will not have the luxury to sit down like this again. The Bible says the angel tapped Elijah. He said, eat for the journey is far. He ate and he slept again. The angel tapped him. He said, you don't know how far you are going. Eat. And the Bible says when he ate, he went in the strength of that bread. 40 days journey. In other words, there are some of you that what you are receiving now in your spirit, you will get to positions where people cannot access you easily. You will get so busy serving the nation or doing that which God has called you to do. You will not have any time. But in your secret heart, some of you, the Holy Ghost will replace some of these messages. You will hear it again. When you want to treat people in a wrong way, God will say, remember. The kingdom series will begin to ring in your mind. Many of you may not notice what the Holy Ghost is doing. But let me tell you something, friends. Paul, speaking to his son Timothy in the gospel, he said, meditate on these things. He said, give yourself wholly to them. Eventually, your profiting will appear unto all. Hallelujah. When you sow a seed and you pour water, sometimes it will take a while. You may not know that something is happening. One day you will wake up in the morning and suddenly you will see a sign that there is growth. A few years after you will look at that same tree and many will come to find shelter. This is the mystery of the spiritual man. That you start small. Small. In the kingdom at any level you can be received. You can start small. Let there be a determination in your heart that every time I come for koinonia, listen, if you stop getting blessed, stop coming. Don't waste your time. I'm telling you, you won't go to hell. But you do something else with your time. Hallelujah. We are very serious about what God has given us. That's why we don't have time for unnecessary jokes we get to the business of the day because we know that there are certain destinies if God does not step in Satan will make a shipwreck of them there are many of you who are coming here with situations that are a matter of life and death we cannot be joking hallelujah I want us to hurry up I promised us that we will try to maintain the time Koinonia is not the kind of meeting that you can do in two or three hours. Hallelujah. I wish we had an auditorium of our own. Old meetings. It's a, it's a lot. It's, see, these are spiritual syllables we are covering. Are you following me now? And sometimes when I see that which God wants to bring, we are lagging behind. We meet only once in a week. Take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Even if we met three or four times in a week, it will not be enough. I'm telling you. If you know the urgency of what God wants to make out of your life, you will make the... He said, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, Lord, there is only one Lord in this place. It's not Joshua Selman. It's not any minister, but the King of Kings. We only live to serve your majesty. 
Let every pride be nailed to the cross. Let every tendency for vain glory be nailed to the cross. We are not ashamed to declare that we are your servants. Tonight, Lord, I pray that you move through me and bless your people. Our hearts are opened. In the name of Jesus, break every pride, break every flesh, break every tendency of the human spirit and soul to interrupt that which you want to do. Let your people be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians 2.10 tonight, I want you to listen very carefully. There are not many messages I tell people to listen to. But tonight's message will bless you. I'm sharing tonight on the price for a glorious destiny. The price for a glorious destiny. I know that we have one more one more session to cover for the full gospel series but we'll take that another time. Be conscious of the presence of God as we minister. Ephesians 2 verse 10. Quickly anybody? Thank you Jesus. Have you wondered why please look up. Have you wondered why in life certain people emerge so victorious glorious with enviable destinies hallelujah while others live as failures in life hallelujah I've always wondered is it that God made some people failures is it that some people were destined to be failures hallelujah while the world is celebrating the investments of God in others, other people just joy, they are at the lower levels of life. They make no impact. They don't live out why they were born. Tonight, I pray that this message will challenge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The price for a glorious destiny. Write this down. The word destiny. Write destiny. Please make sure next time when you're coming, you hold something to write with. If, you, if your neighbor is not writing, you can help them, please. The paper, biro, just share with someone. Or if you have a phone, you can use your notepad or something. Or if you can just have it, no problem. You can get the teaching later. Destiny. Now, the word destiny is an interesting word. It means a predetermined future. Very simply. The word destiny means... A future that has been predetermined. Hallelujah. A future that has been predetermined. Ephesians 2 verse 10. Anyone? Yes, please. Very loud. For we are his workmanship. For we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. Created in Christ Jesus. Unto good works. Unto good works. Which God had before ordained. Which God had before ordained. That we should walk that in them. That we should walk in them. Thank you, sir. He said, for we are what? His workmanship. We are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. That we should walk unto good works. To walk in a path that has been foreordained. He told Jeremiah in chapter 1. He said right from when you were in your mother's womb. I knew you, formed you, called you, ordained you to be a prophet unto the nations. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says. For I the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord. He said they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to what? an expected end that means i had an expectation hallelujah are you listening to me so the word destiny this is so important the word destiny means a predetermined future predetermined by who god god the bible says we existed in god in eternity hallelujah this is very very important Many people do not live to hear these kinds of teachings. And they become failures in life. They are being born again notwithstanding. I'd like you to say after me, I have a destiny. Say it. Say, I have a destiny. Say it confidently. I have a destiny. 
Say, I was born for a reason. Let's see some facts about destiny quickly. Number one, facts about destiny. Every man was born for a reason. Every man, this is the first point I want you to know tonight. Every man, those who serve the great and the great, every man, according to God's predeterminate counsel, every man was born for a reason. I don't care how you came whether it was as a result of one harlot meeting another man is irrelevant hallelujah one more time say i have a destiny what you are saying is i have a predetermined future say i'm not a biological accident i know many of you are used to just say it we are going on a journey tonight every man was born for a reason your purpose for existence is the problem you were created to solve. The solution that God put in you to reveal to your world. Your purpose in life. What problem were you created to solve? What solution? Look around the world. We are benefiting from solutions that have been provided to mankind. Men and women walked upon the earth in ministry in every area of life and they offered solutions to their generations. Your general you from? Are you getting blessed tonight? So, number one, every man was born for a reason. Debunk that demonic statement that you do not have a destiny. I don't care what has happened to you. I don't care what Satan has told you. Can I tell you something? Even the herbalists and the native doctors and those who sell their soul to the devil have a destiny and a purpose in Christ. Hallelujah. Fact number two. Your destiny has been predetermined by God. Your destiny is not an ambition. Your destiny is not an ambition. An ambition is a desire, a craving of something or someone you want to become that's not destiny your destiny has been predetermined listen to me but it takes your choices and decisions to enter into it or lose it your destiny has been predetermined by God but it is a sum total of your choices in life and the decisions that you take he said i set before thee this day blessing and cursing life and death but here's my advice he said what choose life choose life so that you may live fact number three destiny can be aborted this is the painful thing about destiny Destiny can be aborted. In other words, God can earmark someone's life. And the man comes here on earth, spends 70 years, 80 years, even 100 years or more, and not locate his destiny at all. Not even leave it. May God forbid that any one of us will just walk through the earth and be a liability to this generation. Hallelujah destiny is an important thing listen let me tell you something when you find your place in destiny that's where your blessing is that's where your relevant is there is no competition it's a realm that only you exist you see the reason why many people fight tear themselves do everything they do not even know that they have a predetermined future and if they do they don't even know how to get there and tonight my job is to guide us into not just an understanding but an experiential walking the price i made up my mind long time ago that my generation will hear my voice when i said that you were not there when i said that nobody was there but today by the grace of god hallelujah when you hear certain names billy graham dr miles munro Mike Mudok, Bishop Oyedeko, Obama. 
Hallelujah. When you hear certain names, they are associated with greatness. These were men who, who grew in all kinds of unfavorable conditions. Hallelujah. Men and women who shook their generations. Read through the Bible. Run from Genesis to Revelation. Moses. Abraham. Isaac. Jacob. Joshua. The prophets. Jesus himself. Paul the apostle. Every time you hear this name, you tag an aspect of greatness. I pray that tomorrow your name will be associated to greatness. The Bible says we have been preordained by God. Please listen. So why, why do people end up becoming failures in life? I asked the Lord this question and I was shocked. He gave me only two reasons. Why do people end up becoming failures in life? Someone who was destined to be a great apostle, a great prophet, a great teacher, a great evangelist. How come a man can have such a beautiful predetermined destiny and not even live it? Do you realize that there was a prophetic grace upon Jacob? He never used it. He never worked with it. It was until he was at the point of death he began to bless his children. And you hear the prophecy that came out of him. This was, this was a grace and an unction that he would have used in his youth. Hmm. Hallelujah. Have you not heard of people who at age 80 or 70, they finally give their heart to the Lord and within the remaining time, they begin to put pressure on destiny. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Write this scripture down and never forget it for the rest of your life. Lamentations 3.27 He said, it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. It is good that a man bear his yoke. In other words, the Bible says the glory of the young man is his strength. Pay the price now. Don't pay the price when you do not have strength again. Why people, including Christians, end up becoming failures in life? Number one, I want you to listen with an open heart. Number one, excuses please write it quickly and look up because I want to talk about it excuses this is the number one reason why many people become failures in life and I don't want you to be victims of that excuses we live in a world where many people many people believe that their success depends on others and not themselves hallelujah there are many angry people around the world in africa in nigeria giving all kinds of ridiculous excuses why god cannot use them excuses why they are drinking and smoking excuses why their lives are the way they are excuses not taking responsibility for their lives let me show you an interesting scripture proverbs 20 verse 4 Proverbs 20 verse 4. Let's hurry up. I want, this, I want this word to enter your spirit tonight. Proverbs 20 verse 4. Anyone? Yes sir. 20 verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. He said the sluggard will not plow the land. Why? What is his excuse? He said there is cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest. Therefore shall he beg in harvest. And have nothing. And have nothing. This is talking about um, fruitfulness, but this applies to every area of life. He said the sluggard will refuse to plow the land. What is his excuse? Help me please. There is cold. There are so many people who have given useless excuses. Why they are the way they are. And in Nigeria, we have so many of these people. A lot of youths are angry with the government. And say in America, once you are 18, they give you money. And now they are saying, if they were helping me, my life would have changed. And because of that, you move on being a failure in life. And when they ask you why, this is your excuse. Are you listening to me? There are many people that have given all kinds of excuses. 
my father is an irresponsible man if my father was as responsible as other people do you think i'll be where i am now that you know what are you doing about it hallelujah i used to live a bad life sleeping around now that you know what are you doing about it are you following me now there are so many people it's easy to pass the blame of your life to other people there are many of us still holding our parents fathers mothers and different people my father cursed me that's why i'm not moving oh you are aware have you taken any step what are you doing about it are you listening to me please i came from a polygamous family they didn't treat me well it's not a lie but what are you doing about it are you going to allow your destiny to be at the mercy of all kinds of excuses jesus came from nazareth hallelujah an innocent child suddenly herod finds him to kill him he would have gotten angry and said father please take me back look at this nonsense i'm coming to help people who are sinners and you are not even encouraging my journey you want to kill me it's amazing ask many people why they are not advancing in life they will start crying and they will start telling you stories of yesteryears there was a guy when i was four years old the guy abused me and that's the reason why every time i see men or women i i have an, an uncontrolled desire my brother my sister how many years or decades has that been what are you doing about it are you listening to me someone insulted me and told me i'll never be anything so every time people talk to me and now we have all kinds of psychological teachings that encourage us to live in that realm they say you see mankind is a, our complexity as men there are certain subconscious things that remain and when it comes you are hurt you are emotionally hurt your heart is down look get up and move on with your destiny you know some of us get into situations and we give excuses wait until you hear the story of someone and the things they survive to come out you will see that you have no excuse for solomon told us that there is nothing that has happened in the earth that is happening for the first time are you listening to me say i refuse to give excuses oh I, my father took me to a school where we sat down on stones that's why my jam result i've been suffering now you can imagine this wicked man you drink this thing we sat on stones they use chalk my brother and my sister now that you are responsible for your destiny what have you done by yourself hallelujah when kofi annan was the secretary general of the united nations he made a statement on children's day he said let the children not suffer the consequences of the carelessness of their parents hallelujah when i heard that statement i appreciated it on one side but on another side it didn't make sense to me because it is true that you cannot change other people so the only way to move forward is to change yourself are you listening to me excuses several people give excuses oh my father was this see let me tell you something i'm not saying your excuses are not legitimate they are but for as long as you allow satan to keep bringing that as a reason you will remain there forever there are people in this place who lost their loved ones lost their fathers their mothers when they were growing up there are several people who were under some hostile environments there are several of you who were involved in witchcraft and divination it's not your fault you grew up into it hallelujah my father's mother was a traditional worshiper am i if if i add what i'm doing now with small tradition the day they catch me i say uh -huh, why wouldn't i do it you know you watch people and see the excuses they give on tv they catch a senator looting money and then he brings a flimsy and stupid excuse he says am i the only one they should go and ask what happened to our foreign reserve what has that got to do with what you did now every time every time you are convicted the the thing for people is to look for excuse you pour water here and ask people who did this what will people say it's not me 
but what is it not affecting all of us say it's not me that mindset is what i want to remove this night hallelujah for let me tell you something brothers and sisters the great in life are men who have come out of unbelievable excuses are you listening to me all kinds of excuses they have the have, i i read a lot about successful people because the bible says that he who dwells among the wise will be wise ministers people in government politics the corporate world i study about their lives and i'm telling you you cannot imagine what some of them had to endure a man called william seymour the pioneer of the azusa street revival hallelujah the bible tells sorry not the bible history tells us that the founder the one who brought in the azusa street revival, he had one eye one eye hallelujah there are many of us who right now you are you are there is annoyance and grief in your spirit with the government of nigeria with your families say my brother is because they were sponsoring him to school that's why i didn't go to school okay now you didn't go to school and then your brother maybe ended up becoming an abrob and forever every time you see him say this is the demon that swallowed up my destiny People give all kinds of excuses. The Bible says, Go to the ants, you sluggard, and learn a very powerful lesson. They take about 50 times their weight. They have never given an excuse and say, God, why didn't you increase our size? Seeing that we are this hardworking. They are able to coordinate themselves. Listen, brothers and sisters. If you do not stop giving excuses in your life, I promise you, you will live a life of bitterness and regret. You will initiate your children. You watch some people in the television and see how your parents frown at them. Say, ah, Mr. H. Then they just, he said, ah, daddy, what happened? Say, this guy, I remember how many years the guy has gone for, they are interviewing him in, on TV. The guy is happy. Your father is here. You are saying, okay, so how about our own life? Say, are you not hearing what I'm saying? You no, know, you just add, you just pass the anger to people. There are people who are perpetually angry. You ask them, why? Why should I be happy? Are you not seeing what is going on in the world? Can you imagine Obama? He doesn't know you. You are dying there. Good luck, Jonathan. God punish him. He didn't hear it. Listen, I'm telling you something. Get out of this thing. The VC of Abu, stupid man. He doesn't know you. You are not living in his house. You see the house he's living in. You are there angry. Oh, this is my stupid lecturer. God will punish him. Yet, the semester just started. You are going to see him as many times. And you can't drive him away. Listen, let me tell you something if you don't stop keep, while you are laughing i hope you are getting this this is a very serious issue hallelujah excuses the bible do you know the bible says he gave unto men matthew 25 five talent two talent and what one what was the excuse of the last one he said i know you are a hard man so that was his observation all through that period while his other colleagues were making use of destiny he was there saying i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you did so There are many of us who are here with our destiny. See, I cannot speak English. If God only made me finer than I am now, God, you said you didn't try. Eh? What is the meaning of all this nonsense? Oh God, if I had done this, if only I could speak like that guy. If only I could write. God, if you just if you had given me this guy's charisma, what the books I would have written by now. You think the people were born like that? see what you do not know is that every successful man started somewhere we are used to studying people's results not their history hallelujah so you see a man drops outside with a jeep lincoln and say hey, sand youths moving for the advocacy of employment what is that 
and they gather themselves, they fight over secretary, they fight over something, and they write a petition. They say, We want to see the presidency. And you want to. They get there and say, Sir, on behalf of the youth in Nigeria, we are speaking. Why are there no jobs? Political ways of living. You are just hoping that one day your father will just call you and say, Now, son, I've waited all these years to tell you that there's one secret inheritance that I've kept because you watched it in the Nigerian film. Now your father is getting older. You didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. Later, your father will call you and say, Oh boy, do and get out of my household. Then it dawns on you that there's really nothing for you. Then you start getting bitter. The Bible says children are, are supposed to enjoy inheritance from the parents. Now that it didn't happen, what are you doing about it? You are there grumbling, writing books and articles, petitioning your parents. See, let me tell you something. I want you to make a determination tonight that you're going to take hold of your destiny. Are you listening to me? You can't cry forever. You've got to brace up, wipe your tears and move. Yes, the man slept with you when you were growing up. Yes, all kinds of things happened. Your uncle abused you. Yes, this and that happened. Yes, somebody broke your heart. Yes, somebody did this. Yes, the brother came into your life and swore heaven and hell and told you Greek and Hebrew and Aramaic and left you. Yes, this and that happened. But what are you going to do today? Are you listening to me? Many people give excuses. Oh, it's cold. So you won't plow the land. You just ask people why they are. I have not sample 12 people ask them why they are in this level of life only about one in those 12 will take responsibility and, to take any. and most of the people who will make that decision are usually bad but drunkards and the rest you go and ask drunkards and smokers they'll open up they'll tell you truly oh, i'm responsible for where i am now but go and ask christians didn't i pray that day even my seed i gave now I'm, I'm watching god the day will come when i would you can imagine I brought someone to Koinonia. Now see the person growing. Doors are opening. God, let me tell you, if you are not going to do this, I will backslide. I will do this and that. And they ask you, they say, okay, why are you not consistent with God now? You say, when, when he doesn't solve my problem, won't I go? Who is suffering? Tonight is the night when you open up yourself and say, listen, I don't care from where I'm starting but I will not end there. Are you listening to me? Say in the name of Jesus. I will not end where I am. Say it like you believe it. Inside and outside. In the name of Jesus. I will not end where I am. There's more about my life. I'm telling you. Believe it. You wait and hear the stories of all kinds of people. And the things that they went through people who trusted God are dead beds. Others even died and came back to life. And made up their minds. Hallelujah. There are people today, look at the man Job. If there's anybody who should be discouraged about destiny, it should be a man Job. He got to a point, in one day, your children, dead. Cattles, dead. Everything, dead. And then boils grow on your body again to the point that dogs come and they are licking it. Imagine your father sitting naked using ashes. The Bible said he sat upon ashes. This was somebody who was talked about. Yet Job said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. The wife said, Job, I love you. We had all these children with you and right now I must tell you that I'm tired. Job said, why are you speaking like one of these foolish women? the Bible says at the end of his life he refused excuses can I tell you something great people are those who do what weak people refuse to do they, they break through all kinds of things excuses oh we come from this tribe our tribe yeah, we are always known for this there are all kinds of people giving useless excuses the people from our tribe Zev, they know us in our tribe as dollars jale Lord, do everyone, if they, you just call our tribe, what are you going to do about it? With all the word you are hearing. 
We like women in our village. He said, Cause it. Oh, everybody has it. Who doesn't have it, please? Now that the word is entering your spirit, is it doing anything? Us in our place, so it's women that work. The job of the man is to go and get children and allow everybody. What are you doing about it? When they went with the prophet, the Bible says the axe head fell inside the ground. They would have said, Toh, prophet, at least you saw what we were doing before the axe head. They said, No, prophet, come. Many of you, I'm telling you this, God asked me to preach this message. There are many of you that need to release your parents, especially. Your father left you to your mother alone. Yes, you struggled. Your father is enjoying in maybe UK or abroad or anywhere. And you are here suffering. What are you going to do about it? Do you know you sit down there before you know it, you will look around and see four children. And you are sitting in the parlor with them narrating the same story that you didn't do anything about. The children say, Daddy, what, what really, why are we like this? And you say, sit down. Since you have asked, I will tell you. What, what kind of life is that? some of you may be laughing now you see some of you may be laughing now but you don't do anything about it and you see you'll be shocked in your life because it won't change automatically i made up my mind years ago that i was going to take responsibility for my life hallelujah many of you have had to miss semesters for students sessions maybe because one uncle who was supposed to be responsible said he will sleep with you be no sleeping with you no school fees and forever you sit down and say this uncle oh god miracle service you write his his name say god punish this man for me let his children know now we have all kinds of ridiculous woes is it do you realize that one man's failure or success does not affect your own praise the lord there are all kinds of people angry in society giving excuses go and meet our parents and they give all kinds of excuses it's true there is corruption they say forget jerry if i were yoruba they would have promoted me now or if i were Igbo, they would have all this Igbo thing or all this northern thing but have you made efforts you call the person who is making noise and try to interview him and see that this guy cannot even do anything instead of him to people are building he's not doing anything saying this contract yeah yoruba people that's how they do or outside people not done and with their stupidity he's always like that and the person who is shot the day they give him that contract you wait and see how he will change he won't do it he will cause trouble are you ready for it no say i refuse excuses number two in fact say after me my success depends on me i take my destiny and I pay the price I pay the price I release everyone say it I release everyone and I take responsibility hallelujah number two one of the reasons why people end up becoming failures in life please never forget this for as long as you live number two violating the law of process hmm. violating the law of process you just write it i'll explain it look at one scripture quickly mark 4 28 someone help us read we have to hurry up mark 4 28 are you receiving something tonight is god speaking to someone there are some of you your brothers are 35 years 40 years they are still at home true or false you ask them why they will see your father they will hit themselves the day your father talked they will say see let me tell you something when I was 26 years remember this now you are 40 you marry and still carry the wife to your father's house and say is this house will stay the day you give me land I will pack out can you imagine the, you wait and see how do you know most of family fighting is on inheritance is that true the father left land and they said, This land, Abba, we'll kill ourselves on this land. You will see three generations fighting over the land that their great grandfather, who was a king, gave them. 
they don't do anything Mark 4 28 please read sir Shall I come for the earth here? bringeth forth fruit of, it, of herself for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself listen first the blade first what happens the blade alright then the ear then the ear after that the, the full corn after that the full corn stop God bless you it says the earth brings but it tells you how we bring it says first what the blade followed by the ear and then a lot of people have become failures please listen give me your ears your heart your eyes everything a lot of people have become failures in life because they do not know the law of process this is a message that is not taught again because we're in a jet age a generation where anything is possible hallelujah the Bible says in Luke 2 verse 52 it says and Jesus grew say after me and Jesus grew the Bible didn't say Jesus became and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God Jesus grew the Lord grew the Bible says as far as the earth remains seed hold on time and harvest many of us read it in a rush there are three words there one is seed second is time third harvest it didn't just say seed harvest seed time harvest the law of a process many people let me tell you something this is what separates the great ones from those who are not great if I say now, God will make you a great leader. Everybody will lift hands. Amen. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you. Or Jangfa gets up here and says, The Lord is showing me, my brother, that in five years you are going to become a world changer. Guys, start smiling. I say, I like Koinonia. I like this kind of thing. These are the kind of things I would like to hear. But now, when God says, let me tell you, you know the thing about God? He doesn't tell you how you will get there. He will first show you a picture of the promised land and say, let's go. Later, you will stop and say, oh, God, God said, didn't I show you? Let's go. Hallelujah. I don't watch films most of the time. But the Lord made me to watch one film called Lord of the Rings. Many of you watch film for entertainment. I got some powerful spiritual lessons about that film hallelujah i learned a lot of things another film i watched called akila and the bee did you learn anything you are saying yes <laughs> you just keep quiet and let me preach to you because many of you have watched it more than 10 times you can say everything but you can't bring the moral lesson hallelujah someone who grew with no advantage whatsoever and became a world changer what is your excuse listen let me tell you everyone i know whether in the ministry in business in politics in government in the arts media whatever it is whatever area anyone who truly stepped into sustainable greatness went through a process are you listening to me anyone that preaches to you now we have all kinds of messages spiritual shortcut there's a pathway you can navigate in a hurry let me tell you that pathway is witchcraft yes it's witchcraft i will say it because if you follow that path let me tell you something with satan he will give you the products now and come for his money later on oh he's a good businessman he will tell you you have it and then you join the americans what america is doing is is a, a physical manifestation of what satan does to people in the spirit you buy your destiny on credit and leave everything so if you were in america now many of you would have come for koinonia with jeeps once you are 18 years they give you money you build house on credit marry a wife on credit divorce her on credit build a business on credit and you hold on and begin to see the kind of thing you are leaving for your children. 
I like Nigeria. Thank God. There's nothing like credit system in Nigeria. If you don't have it, just go back home. It's a very good system. Are you listening to me? Are you getting blessed tonight? Say, I receive gifts to go through the process. Many young people don't like this statement. Process. Once you mention process, ah, people don't like it. Hallelujah. Every time you watch jollof rice, when they finish it and package it and bring it, you start smiling. Every time we're about to eat the food that our welfare people prepared for us, sometimes I look and I just imagine, how did they do this? How did they do all of that? How the processes? You can't just lay hands on the rice and say, I invoke. <laughs> By an ability of the spirit, hey, let this thing become rice. It doesn't work that way. hallelujah because that's what many people are doing some of you are doing it as you are laughing it may not be for rice but you are doing it for your destiny you are sitting down and hoping that's why many of you like teachings on favor you are hoping Ayah, I will enter houses I didn't build I will marry wife I didn't ask out I will have children I didn't get out of that illusion this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ There are brothers waiting for the sister to just manifest and see them. There are sisters hoping that one day they wake up and say, Ah, you are the one. You hold on and watch the shocker that life brings. We like it when a generation of employment without submitting CV, everything. So we like it. The jet age that leads people into stupidity. There is something called the law of process. Let me tell you two things you need to know about the law of process. Number one, in the school of greatness you must be tested and proven to be honored by God if it is God if it's your shrine or another um, demonic entity it's okay but if it is God let me tell you something you must be tried and tested Psalm 66 verse 12 he said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place men rode through our heads we went through fire through water are you listening to me behind every glory there is a story many of you are not interested in the story you just keep admiring things that will never come into your life. And many of us have gone to churches where you claim. You come and drop your seed and don't do anything and watch how your life will surprise you. Hallelujah. The favor of God will never replace the law of process. Are you listening to me? So don't you think that if you can get the favor anointing, everything in your life will just happen like that. I hope you know Jesus Christ had the power to save mankind without dying. You know that in the infinite wisdom of God, there would have been a way. Why did Mary just give birth to Jesus? You just hear a child just cry, ah! Then you see a great man say, I'm in a hurry. I need to save mankind. <laughs> you give birth to a child like that and see how you will run. You just give birth to him, he landed and just got up. Say, what's going on here? What's my destiny? What's my assignment? It doesn't happen that way. It can't happen that way. If a baby drinks one drum of breast milk, does he become a man? Answer me. You call him a healthy baby. That's what happens. If an old man fasts for 100 years and dies, did you say a baby died? Who died? An old man. The law of process has cheated many people violating this law running into realms that you have not gotten into it takes time for true success to manifest write it it takes time 
so you don't let anybody deceive you someone just gets his small 500 or six or seven hundred thousand just buys his golf wagon and won't let you rest comes to see the world is working in my life and you are taking things gradually but you are beginning to faint and say kai pressure is even coming from home and people are saying see now my brother just said he's a vet doctor uh, you know we live in a society that puts pressure on us you hold on and start hearing the calls that come from everywhere say we're waiting or start sending the money and now you are under all kinds of pressure left right and center it takes time for true success to manifest let me tell you what a process teaches you a process simply means the pathway to your destination or whatever you want to achieve number one a process tests your loyalty and commitment to fulfilling your destiny listen listen look at me a process will test whether you are really interested in fulfilling destiny or not oh god use me hallelujah and somebody just somebody just said uh, sorry i'm hungry and god tells you the 500 naira in your pocket that's all you have home and abroad god will say give the person say god the bible says you are telling god who the bible says love your neighbor as yourself not better than yourself and you are looking at god and then you say you want to be a minister oh god give me crowd like koinonia you hold on when you go through the process at the end of it you know whether you want it or not process tests your loyalty let me tell you something if you survive a process you deserve the result are you listening to me many people don't survive it I was listening to an interview by you but angel many people say you are an exceptional prophet you are a celebrity he said I'm said I'm persecuted how can I be the celebrated you go online and see all kinds of things about him but many people will see and say I want that level of grace see uneasy lies the head that wears the crown don't don't allow success bait you too quick let the process of God screen your true desire. Success tests loyalty. Hallelujah. How many of you want to be evangelists? Everybody get up when Jake comes. Because many of you think it's just anointing and you fall down. Jake says, all right, um, every week we are going to be going on evangelism. They will start with 100 people who came out emotional, even crying, cleaning their tears. After two weeks, you may find only 10 people. Why? Because you have initiated the principle of a process. A process is what separates great people from those. It's easy to talk, but it's a process that separates people. I want to be a champion. I am somebody. And you just dance. I am somebody. If it were just to be like that, there are people who varieties of oil has come upon their head. It would have changed their life by now. Process. Process. So process helps you. It tests your loyalty. Anything you are not loyal and committed to, you will never get it at the end. Number two process builds patience impatience has cheated many people in life listen to me there's no anointing impartation hand laying for patience you are taught patience experientially the bible says in james 1 verse 3 it says count it all joy my brethren when you go through several diverse um, temptations he said knowing this that the trying of your faith will produce patience he said and let patience have her full course that it will make you mature not lacking in anything patience how many of you have come to meet your father or some of your parents and while you are jumping and excited about some things they promised me visa to uk you just see your father not interested he said why uncle promise and your father is just looking as if he didn't hear you you have never gone through disappointment in your young and youthful life he received disappointment in 1971 somebody promised him he was going to scotland he didn't go it happened again in 1970 he has gone through too much things it has helped him to be patient you are coming happy oh and they prophesied this you know he's just looking at you 
two weeks later you come back and say god this is my uncle you have told your friends he told you just keep quiet first you you are too grateful to keep quiet you run around town run your mouth around there are some things only age can teach when you see your father keep quiet he said they promoted me but you just wait let him manifest say what is that don't hide good things after you receive disappointments for a number of times, you become grounded, initiated into patience experientially. Hallelujah. Your car was not good. They say, let's fix it. Say, no, let's go. Are you joking? The world is working. They say, let's fix this thing. It can cause trouble on the road. They say, ah. Daniel said this, this in the Bible, this, this said this, then you are going. You stop and sleep on the road that night. You call on to the God of Israel. You pray and sing. Listen to Koinonia tapes. Nothing happens. The next day, when you see a zealous apostle saying, let's go. You see, is the car working? If it's not working, say, hold on. It's not lack of faith. You, are you say, I can wait. I'm not in a hurry. I, if I cannot make the first two days of the program, I can make the third day. I'm not in a hurry. That spirit of, I believe in speed. We prophesy it every miracle service. But there is a hurry, hurry that leads you to death. Are you listening to me? Run away from it. You sit down, you know the background you are coming from. You look at your friend and say, hey, this girl is wearing Brazilian weave on. Me, I'm here soaking my own and washing and rinsing it every time. Who said you will remain like that? Who said you will remain like that? And you are under all kinds of pressure. Impatience has produced arm robbers. Impatience has produced... Let me tell you, most people that violate the laws of life are people who could not be patient. Men, I, I shared it here. Men of God who have touched a lot of things, adding to the anointing. They have mixed the anointing with wine. It's not that God didn't call them. They said, Kai, to wait five years. We were on campus for four years, meeting at the back of Sunday school building every night we were being proven by God I cannot tell you the suggestions that came from different people do this do that God showed me this some even drew the diagram of what they saw and brought it I said thank God but when it was God's grace what happened he brought us to this level and we will stay on course until it pleases his majesty to open greater doors if you learn to be patient in life you will find out that your patience will make you faster than those who are running. Watch a driver who is running. I saying, driver, we are young people in this car. Let's go 180. The driver said, I've been driving for the past 10 years. I've had accident 10 times. I'm not in a hurry. We'll get to Zaria. You are just running. One car just passes you. Later on, you see people picking out the legs here, the head of the person here, and you will now say, oh dear God, this would have been us. Patience. God can wait. God can wait. God is not in a hurry the way many people teach. God can wait. Let's hurry up. Number three. A process helps you to appreciate success and to honor successful people. If you have not gone through a process, you will never know how to appreciate success. Many of you take certain things that God brings to your life for granted until you go through certain processes. When you come out, can I tell you something? As I grow in ministry every day, I cultivate a deep respect for the fathers of faith who have gone ahead. Seeing some of the challenges that come before us in ministry and other things, when you see certain fathers, you just wonder, what did these people endure? You hear about some of them who had churches and God asked them to leave and go to Lagos and they slept on that bridge for months before they got their parishes. And so you just think. See, I learned this from Dr. Mike Modok. Celebrate greatness when you enter its presence. Don't pretend there is no greatness there. Are you listening to me? When you enter it, I shared it in, in when we're doing the teaching on the law of honor. Whenever you see greatness, don't pretend this is not greatness celebrate greatness when you enter its presence because the great are those who have endured what you could not endure they went through things where you gave up they continued the film lord of the rings again among the many scenes in that film there was one scene that i will never forget 
Remember when a gentleman called Sam, he wasn't the one holding the ring. Are you listening to me? But Frodo, the ring bearer, got tired and he said something. He said, I may not be able to carry the ring, but I can carry you. And he carried that gentleman and started moving him and together they accomplished destiny. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. Successful people are those who did not give up when you gave up. So celebrate greatness when you enter its presence. It may be your brother. It may be your sister. Success helps you. Sometimes you see people standing in anointing because you got born again and every prayer you prayed was answered. You now say those who are fasting, I beg Jare. Then you go through some process. There are some people that if I see them doing some things, I just keep quiet because we saw it happen on campus. There are people who were very stubborn and they were not well behaved before, but now when they see you, they greet you. Ah, every time I look at them, I say, you have come. You have crossed that door. You just see them, they see you and they greet you. They say, sorry, is there anything you think God is saying about my life? They won't say that before. When they see you before, they'll come and push. How are we colleagues in ministry? When certain things went through and whipped them back to order, when they see you now, they greet. How many of you have seen people like that? They used to be so rude and hostile to you. We are roommates, so we are this. Thing. Forget, you may be my senior in secondary school, but we are roommates now. Don't play with me. Then the day they need your help, the day they make a stupid decision, they will now know they are childish and they will come and you bring forth wisdom. A process helps you to appreciate success. Some of you inherited the success you have now. So you are taking it for granted. You grew up with a plasma screen in your house. So when somebody is giving testimony and saying we use, how many of you know these kind of CD plates that are round? You just hold it and touch it lightly. Then it starts going round. That's how some people grew up. But you grew up with everything. Some you even have gadgets that you just speak to it from your room. We grew up and my parents, my younger sister is here. We had one beetle, green beetle. I learned how to drive with that beetle. No alignment, no nothing. You are driving, it's going, you have to bring it back. But many of you grew up, it was a jeep that carried you from the hospital and brought you you just grew up. One day you saw yourself, you saw people snapping and say, Daddy, who is our father? They say he's a commissioner or is this. So you don't know how to appreciate success. You trivialize a lot of things. You insult your cook and say, You mean this is the food you cooked? And then sometimes, after you go through certain processes, you come back with a depth of wisdom. Every time you see success, you appreciate it. Hallelujah. Number four, process creates a memory that helps you sustain success when it comes. Listen, this is very important. The Bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them. Can I tell you why? God, no matter how you pray and fast, there are some realms you must grow into. You will never jump into them. You know why? Because there are certain memories you need to sustain success. Are you listening to me? Look up, please. There are many of you here. You don't know what it means to be charismatic and to be a celebrity. It can be demonic. Are you listening to me? You get to a point where men can almost worship you. At that point, you need the memory of the wilderness to sustain you. Because you can get to a point in your life, people cannot even talk to you. They can't access your office. They can't do everything. That's why today, every time I stand, you see, when I sit down here, you see me close my eyes sometimes. I just remember. I say, God, God of Israel. To see where God took us and brought us by grace. A process creates memory. Are you listening to me? When you were taking pap and cocoa, you will buy cocoa 20 naira, yam 10 naira. The remaining 10 naira they should put pap, half cup, when you are taking. And now, the moment you see delicacies, you will remember. The Bible says, Thou shalt remember. So while you are enjoying in the palace, that's why David danced. He danced before God. And Saul's daughter was saying, don't embarrass us. He said, I'm dancing before God who collected the kingdom from your father and gave to me. People who do not, you see why many politicians are reckless over spending? Because they did not go through a process. Hallelujah. 
Somebody had 50,000 home and abroad in his account. You jumped into an office and you saw accounts linked to your office with no name. They were not tied to your name. They were tied to the office. You award a contract of 10 million and somebody just brings a, a car of, of 2 million naira. Say, I just said you should use it as throw. When you want to buy a recharge card, just throw with it. You say, what for? Many people jump into success and destiny. That's why they are short-lived. No matter what kind of prayer you pray, if it is success that comes from God, I assure you, that door of process, you must pass through it. Fast, pray, cry. You must pass through it. There are some cups in life that are not meant to pass. You must drink it. Peter said, I will drink the cup. He didn't even wait to hear what Jesus was saying. And he truly drank it. And some cups are big. So I must drink everything inside. I was told of a man, just a story, a fictional story, I believe, that he went to heaven. Was come complaining and say, God, which kind of useless cross are you giving me to carry like this? I'm seeing people laughing. I'm the only one frowning in the world. Then that he went to heaven and they led him into a room. There were all kinds of crosses, different weights and sizes. And the Lord said, oh yeah, go and pick one by yourself so that it won't be me. He saw one small one, very small. He just went and carried. And the Lord said, but that's the same thing. You just, you just carried what you are complaining. That's the one you were carrying on earth. The guy said, you mean there are some people carrying this one? He said, and they are happy on earth. From that day, he came back with a mindset. Process. We have taught people in church that process is as a result of lack of faith or demonism or all, 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 all kinds of things. It's not true. Do you know David was anointed king, sir? But when he was anointed king, where did he run to? Back to the wilderness. He was anointed king. He was not anointed shepherd. But he went back to the wilderness. And what happened? He grew into the throne. Hallelujah. He was, he played strings for the king. He became his armor bearer. Then he became king. I won't deceive you brothers and sisters there are many of you that are running too fast in life and you are, you are soon going to have a head on collision with disappointment you need to pipe down come to yourself and take life gradually I ask some people I say what's your financial budget what do you want to make by year and they mention one stupid and ridiculous and childish figure whether it's, it's 10 billion or something they say they want to be getting per month I say starting from now I say yes Your brother is collecting 30,000. I say, me, God forbid. If it's not 250, I won't start. You hold on. Life has a beautiful way of teaching people lessons. You see someone collecting 30,000. I say, me, with this faith that I have now, you just wait and see. Or someone finished school and is going to teach. I say, what kind of nonsense is this? Ah, you have fallen our hands. Hold on. You are going to finish. Contagora, your convocation gown is waiting for you at Contagora Square. You will finish. And then suddenly you find out that life is not fair. As you are graduating, your uncle that says you should bring CV just says, I'm relocating to Holland. Number one, welcome to the real world. Then your father says, now I've been waiting to tell you this. You're of age. Please go and find a bus quarters or whatever. Just get out of my presence. A process helps you. It sustains an experience. How many of you have seen very wealthy people live simple lives? And you are surprised. You say, if it's me that had this money. Because you don't, never covet a man's result if you don't want his history. Never. Never covet a man's result. That's why reading books, I like reading books about people's history. Not just their results. Hallelujah. They talk about Johnson Suleiman. Apostle Johnson Suleiman, a great man. Many people see him today. Do you know that this guy, I hear, was one who was cleaning the shoes of Idahosa and doing a lot of things. Janfa was telling me how that there was a time someone fell down when Idahosa was around. Fell down in the presence of Johnson Suleiman and broke his head into two. Idahosa held the two heads and joined it back. He was watching. Process. Today you see him shouting and speaking. And you just say, Lord, that dimension, I give myself a span of three months. Wait and see the demons that will lead you there. I'm out of time. I'll round up finally by sharing keys to a successful destiny. 
I'll give us six keys. Tonight's teaching is very simple and we'll pray. Six keys to a successful destiny. Look at me. Lift your right hand, everybody. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I receive grace to go through the process of greatness. Say, Lord, I receive grace. I'm not in a hurry. I will wait. I will move at your timing and enter my destiny in the name of Jesus. Don't let anybody put pressure on you. They say at your age you are not married. They don't have the same destiny. If the person is not married, tell him go and marry. In the, in, in, the overtaking is allowed. Go. Don't, don't put pressure on me. Or they look at you now and say, see, at age 26, I was a millionaire. Look at you, 33. 33, you are looking at me. Take it easy. You have a ministry. There are only five people. You come and sit down in Koinonia and say, hey, you find out how our first crusades were. First crusade. The first day of our first crusade, those of us who went, I think we were, we were, it was us and then some other few people. One day I told God, I said, see, crowd or no crowd. Crowd started coming in our ministry when we gave up on the issue of crowd and just focused on God. I see a lot of people, especially young pastors around. The, that, that the people come carry all kinds of offering and write all kinds of useless titles on it and come and meet me and see one to tap it. Calm down. Don't you know that at every level, there is a level of responsibility that comes with success. Keys to a successful destiny. Number one, determination. You must be determined to succeed. Do you know what determination is? It's a resolve. It's a resolve. Burn the bridge behind you and say no matter how long it will take, I will get to destiny. Some of you here, God is calling you into different areas. Fashion, media. You know that God has told you that the world will hear your voice. But are you willing to pay the price? Let me tell you the truth. If you know what the price is and you pay the price, nobody will stop you. If, if a little girl, madame's daughter, madam, if your daughter holds, assuming a Mercedes Benz is 7 million, if your daughter holds a check of 7 million and goes to a car factory and gives them, will they say your daughter is too small? She brought the price. Let me tell you something. Every enviable destiny you see, including your own, has a price tag. Stop deceiving yourself. Look very well. You will see the price tag. Be determined to succeed. Be determined. You must lose something to get to your destiny. I won't deceive you. You will lose your reputation. You will lose some sacrifices. You may lose your weight. You may lose a lot of things because you will have to fast and pray. You will lose a lot of things. You'll be wearing two shirts and one trouser. You wash it in the night and wear it in the morning, but you are buying books. No problem. A day will come you will not need to buy things again for the rest of your life because you have created an impact. A time will come in my life I am convinced if I buy clothes is my choice. A time will come in my life if I buy cars. Oyedeko said they give him cars every day. Where were the people when he was driving his beetle to go and hear what God was asking? They will come eventually. Be determined. Say in the name of Jesus, I am determined to succeed. Say it in the name of Jesus. No matter what I will go through, I make up my mind. No matter what I have to endure, I will fulfill destiny. Look beyond limitations. Look beyond barriers. Number two. Number two. Go for information. I beg you brothers and sisters, go for information. Your destiny will not open up automatically. It's good to pray. It's good to fast. Go for knowledge. Get information. Hallelujah. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved. A workman, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, study, study. He said, and I, Daniel, understood by books. 
great men in life are those who read study study the life of great people who are in the area that God is calling you there are two ways to learn in life mentors and mistakes mistakes are the ways that foolish people learn hallelujah mentors open up their wounds for you to see are you listening to me so that you may not have to make that same mistake again let people help your life get their books get tapes the bible says follow them who through faith and patience study their stories pray don't just run after power what do they do that brings the presence of god what do they do that brings the favor of god what opened the heavens for them hallelujah say i go for knowledge the bible says proverbs 4 verse 7 it said get wisdom get understanding go for wisdom go for understanding many of us don't buy books we don't invest many of us don't go online years ago before they even started internet mobile communication we used to go for vigil in um, evolution cafe we we'll go and sit down there and we'll just be night vigil because we could not afford browsing anytime we wanted so we'll go in the night you pay 150 or is it 200 then and then you browse all through the night we are browsing peter tan we are searching what is the holy ghost doing around the earth why are some people poor google search you keep your eyes there you are wrestling with sleep you say sleep i have a journey i'm going you won't stop me when you are feeling sleepy you get up and stroll outside with your shoe and sandals scattered your shirt oversized everything but you say i'm going somewhere many of you don't be ashamed of the process because it will be a while and you will live it forever hallelujah we're praying many of you sleep and snow and wake up and get angry you think your destiny will open like that no sir get wisdom get information we invested heavily in books i still read books till today i read books on leadership i read books that help me it's not everything you see done that is just the anointing in that sense we're rounding up number three spend time spend time praying for your life and destiny write it if you don't pray for your destiny and you find out that you get there you got there you were dreaming i assure you you were dreaming just wake up wipe your tears and see what you are in now if you wake up just find out that you are because you have a devil who will not let you enter your destiny but it is through the greatness of thy power that the enemies will submit themselves and he spake a parable to the end that men would ought always to pray and not to faint don't you think the devil will sit down and just watch your destiny unfold from the day jesus was announced satan started following him when jesus was fasting satan was patient waited for 40 solid days until jesus finished he said oh thank you and he came he said now that uh, this has happened he began to negotiate your destiny will not change overnight spend time praying lock yourself pray carry the notebook if you don't have a notebook that you are recording things for destiny i know you are lazy and you are not serious about your destiny you must have a notebook how many of you have notebooks don't lift your hands because some of you will be lying don't lift your hands how many of you have notebooks that you write that god showed me i saw it in a vision that one day i'm going to be helping the less privileged i saw myself on tv i saw myself I saw myself beyond my geographical location i saw myself yes i can't speak english well but the me i saw in the speak in the future was speaking polished english so you don't rejoice over me now i know i'm making grammatical structure and, and nonsense but i'm praying thank god you don't need to learn tongues i'm praying it and i'm rising get tesseros get a good dictionary and sit down god told you you'll be a public speaker you think the way you are talking like this will invite you change your mind and read very well get a book on public speaking and read 
you want to be a man of God and you are ashamed of people and God has said you stand before crowds the remedy pray in tongues boldness boldness will come upon you hallelujah so get a notebook everyone a notebook write destiny or purpose or whatever I have notebooks for my finances for the things that God tells me for the visions that he has shown me some of the books are torn I've, I've been transferring them through the years some of the sermons that we preach here are, are things that the Lord taught me sometimes I would dust it and read it and cry and say your majesty you taught me these things I did not understand but now I understand if you don't have any book who, how will you teach people in the future because many of you are only thinking about yourself and your wife and your children think posterity hallelujah spend time praying say I receive grace to pray for my destiny be disciplined be disciplined and focused Isaiah 50 verse 7 he said I have set my eyes like a flint you must be focused in life many of you are too distracted you are doing everything you are in every group. You are in every association. You are in everything. Where are you going? I'm going. Where? Small time now, you carry one girl or one guy. Add to the, the trouble you are creating. You are going. Where are we going? How many of you have climbed bike? And you told the bike, you called the name of the place. He didn't even hear. He said, yes, I know. And now you are going. Later you tell him, ah, do you know the place? He said, Kai, I, the last time I came here, he doesn't know where he's going. When you don't know where you are going and you carry other people, there's an accident that is going to happen. For sure. Be disciplined. If God has called you to ministry, for instance, you've got to be disciplined. You are like a military man. You cannot entangle yourself with civilian affairs. It's a sacrifice. You can't live an ordinary life. No. You can't accept the call. See, when you accept the call of God upon your life, that's your end to an ordinary life. Sisters, if God has told you you will marry a man of God, just know that you are going to live a life of sacrifice forever. Just forget about trying to have it my way. That one is gone. Go and look for a pilot or, or, or someone, a businessman. God has called you. What's your name, sir? Eh? Philip, please stand up, sir. God has called you, for instance. All right? And, no, keep standing. And say, Philip, tomorrow you are going to own banks for instance and now God has spoken to you and now Philip is not doing anything he just says prophet so so so, so every time he sees him on TV he says that's the guy he spoke about my destiny he said it 10 years ago 10 years later nothing no movement in the realm of the spirit because it will not happen automatically please sit down what has God told you what are you doing about it when I knew the call of God was upon my life, I started reading books. I have books about ethics of ministry. I have books about church planting. Discipline. Focus. Now is not the time for visiting everybody. That day will come. But now is not the time. Some of you are always visiting and running around. You go and meet your friends. Tell lies. Tell lies. Tell lies. You are lying and they are listening to you. You are just telling lies. You don't even know when you have yourself in they are just looking at you you are lying what you say you didn't do in the gist later you said you did it and then they remind you and say oh sorry i didn't do this those things are unnecessary settle down with your destiny the bible says in the multitude of many words many useless words sin what is the sin for what lying you say things that didn't happen create your film there act it the people are watching you be composed listen i'm telling you package yourself like a leader you can't just do everything hallelujah be disciplined you are saying god is going to bless you and you stand before nations you are just moving outside you just buy popcorn you just cry oh, you are pretty some even small you pick it and drop you won't go far that way I assure you, you won't go pray in tongues. You won't go far that way. You must be disciplined. 
You go somewhere, you have not even prayed for the people. They said there's food. You say, hey, thank you. Why can't you hold yourself? The Bible says, a man who does not have control over his spirit is like a city without walls. There is a time to eat. There is a time to live. There is a time to collect money for many gullible people. There is a time to live and say, God bless you. Hallelujah. There are ethics. Many of us need to learn it. You have not done anything you want to sit in front. The Bible says when you come into a place, go and sit at the back. Hallelujah. It's God that will bring you to the front. Many of you will come. I'm not saying front, literally. You get what I'm saying? You just come and sit. Then later they say the, the people who they kept the seat for are coming. They lead you in front of everybody. You must go and sit at that back and start gradually till you come. If you ever came to the front because someone brought you, that's not your position. It's just favor. You will still go back. Many people have lived around successful people and they think they are successful. If I have a friend, come sir, my brother. If I have a friend, assuming this guy is my PA, every time I go for administration, you will sit in front of me. He can be deceitful. Because the day I'm not around, you will bounce in front. And they'll say, go back, Jerry. You really believe you deserve the front seat? Many of you are leveraging on the success of others. And God is telling you, you need to create a track record for yourself. You don't pray, but their prayer covers for you. You don't fast, their fasting covers. You say, I like this kind of friendship. A day will come, you will stand on your own. That's the day the robber will hit the road. God bless you, sir. The time I was trying to save has gone. Praise God. Finally, embrace a life of competence and excellence. Proverbs 22 verse 29. Seer thou a man diligent in his business. Mediocrity will only end you average in life. Whether in ministry, whether in business, whether in politics, whether in education, on your job. Be excellent. Be competent. Genesis 41 verse 14, powerful scripture. It says, and Pharaoh sent for Joseph. And Pharaoh sent for Joseph. Why? Because he interpreted the dreams. Do you know what he said? He said, and Pharaoh sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Pharaoh sent for Joseph. Joseph had prepared himself. I've said it, favor is when preparation meets opportunity. And the king, Pharaoh, sent for Joseph. And what happened? They brought Joseph out of his competence that will bring you out of your dungeon. Many of you are in some dungeons you inherited. If you remain there, you will remain there. You will give birth there. Hallelujah. I have a destiny in Christ. And I vowed to my generation that I will pay the debt that I owe this generation. I'm speaking to champions right now. Look at me. We're going to pray. Many of you are sitting. You are hearing the voice of God through what I'm saying. You need to rise up tonight. Don't just feel emotional about it. And tell yourself, I've heard this word. And I'm going to run with it. Outside. Some of you may be outside. Nobody is seeing you. You are just there. I want you to know that destiny is calling. Vow to yourself that I won't fail. That you won't allow anybody go back and find out what am I on earth here for cry unto God if you don't know why you are living you will keep escorting everybody in destiny and you will get old and find out that all you were doing was to be escorting others it's time to discover purpose if you cannot tell me why you are alive in one sentence you do not know it hallelujah I assure you you do not know it the first time I heard Dr. Miles Monroe say this, I said, what kind of arrogant man is this? But eventually I found out it's true. Hallelujah. What is the color of your shirt, Aaron? Black. Simple. Say the color is the one that is not the white. You don't know it. What is the color of your shirt? Black. What is the color of your own? White. Period. What are you here for? Don't talk Greek and what are you here for? If you don't know it, go and flog it out with destiny. Because there are many people who do not know. For the prophet, he said, while you were in your mother's womb, there are many of you God has called you to wipe the tears of generations. There are many of you God has called you to have NGOs and 
conglomerates that will help people there are some of you who are entrepreneurs some of you are evangelists some of you are going to be in the area of government some business some politics do you know what you are working for or you are just depending on your certificate and then ladies hoping that one man will come and then you ask the man what what are you and the guy say i'm a preacher i said to him, i'm a preacher's wife is that what you are waiting for rise up on your feet I made this decision years ago I cried in ABU dam I said God I will not leave this place till you open up the portals of destiny for me I must know what I'm on earth here for today I thank God for knowing why I'm here on earth because many lives have been blessed and this is only the beginning of great things to come many of you who have discovered destiny have you been working in it go back and listen to this thing provoke yourself don't let a generation die you have the destiny of a generation upon your shoulder lift your voice and begin to pray say Lord I thank you for this word tonight the price katapalata kabaria my generation will hear my voice in the name that is above all names Jesus was born in a manger no one saw him except a few people when he was about going to heaven a crowd was there watching him you came to this earth only a few nurses and doctors saw you who is it that will see your life and say thank God that he came and lived I was watching a documentary of Archbishop Benson Idahosa and they wrote, they said he came, he saw, and he conquered. Can that be your testimony? Lift your voice and begin to pray. That will be my testimony in this life. That a young man came, he saw, he shook the sands of time. I will shake my generation with the power of God. I will shake my generation with the life of God. I will bring sinners to the saving knowledge of God. We will go to nations. I tell you, I've been saying this thing for years. Lift your voice and pray. We are rounding up. Pray. The Holy Ghost is here. Say, I'm not ordinary. I refuse excuses. I'm ready to begin to take a definite journey. No matter what the limits are, I take off the limits. Lord, together with you, we are an unbeatable team. You are the prayer point of someone on the way to happen. Someone has been praying. The Bible says the earnest expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Don't say I am weak. Don't say I am small. Don't say I am local. No. Take off the limits. Nigeria will hear voice. Pray it. Africa will hear my voice. In the name that is above every other name. I will take the word of the Lord. The counsel of the Lord. I will stand before nobles. I will stand before royalties. And they will hear the wisdom of the Lord. Nothing will stop me. I'm an infant of fire. Going by the power of the Holy Ghost. No devil. Say I will build that hospital by the power of the Holy Ghost. I will build that airport. I will build that bank by the power of the Holy Ghost. I will be that kingdom financier. Pray. Say I will be that prophet. I will be that apostle. It does not yet appear, but the mantle is on you. I tell you, rise great one hear the voice of the lord i speak to you almighty man of valor almighty woman of valor just walk with god he will make a wonder no matter what your disadvantages are yes you are not in school yet that's not an excuse you cannot speak english you lost your parents You've not gotten a job you are not married yet you don't have children yet that's not an excuse make up your mind i go through the process pray say lord i pay the price the price of diligence the price of prayer the price of fasting 
I go for knowledge. I pay the price. I pay the price for financial prosperity. I pay the price for the anointing. I pay the price for the influence of the spirit. I pay the price of division. Hallelujah. We worship Hallelujah. Your Majesty. Don't let you your price to right now. Oh, some God. Student, don't leave us if you are you are paying a price. You, you are Lord. You may have one. Once upon a time, we could not have one. We stand by the you to define you. Be proud of where you are. Start it honorably. You may not have food to eat, but you can pray and say, Lord, I know this is only for a while. A day will come I will feed nations. In one minute, say, Lord, hold my hands and let's walk to destiny. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Strengthen my hands, oh God. Lift your voice and cry. We're going to be very brief tonight. For it's a year of supernatural exploits. Lord, hold my hands. Hold my hands through challenges. Where I want to give up, oh God. He said, and when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Say, Lord, tonight, I make a vow and a commitment. If I perish, I perish. But I must leave destiny. If I perish, no going back. I burn the bridge behind me. There may be sufferings for a while. There may be constraints for a while. You will give up a lot of things for a while. But it's not compared, I tell you, it's not compared to that glorious destiny, that enviable destiny. The shepherd boy became a king. Hallelujah. Verse 18. Hallelujah. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It says, For surely there is an end. This is the first prophetic word for someone tonight. Take note, I'm under a very heavy unction. I'm not just making empty noise. Listen to me. Don't be fooled by what you are seeing. I'm under a very heavy unction tonight. For surely there is an end. For surely there is an end. For surely, no matter how long it stays, there is an end. Over that terminal disease, surely there is an end. Over that marital delay, surely there is an end. The word of God says, surely, surely, it may have taken so long. Surely, if God be God, surely there is an end. Mekete rekotosha marekete rekos empreketeka mam sopa rekotoseketa surely there is an end to poverty surely there is an end to weeping surely there is an end to disappointment surely there is an end to sorrow there is an end surely there is an end surely there is an end to that weeping surely it will not continue being like this forever surely you will not be buried forever surely you will not be jobless forever Surely, there is an end. There is an end. If it had a beginning, it has an end. If it had a beginning, surely there is an end to that cancer. 
Surely there is an end to HIV. Surely there is an end to the assaults of darkness over your life. Surely, surely there is an end. There is an end. It does not last forever. There is an end. I'm bringing you a prophetic word. There is an end. No, you will not die with it. There is an end. You've been writing jam for so long. There is an end. You've been writing wayek for long. There is an end. Brothers and sisters, surely there is an end. There is nothing created by man that does not end. There is an end. There is an end. Hallelujah. There is an end. But there is only one responsibility on your own part. The Bible says, and your expectation. Your expectation. Not your assumptions. Not your grumblings and complainings. Not your discouragements. He said, your es all God needs is your expectation. He doesn't want any noise, no grumbling and say, Lord, I came here January. I came here February. He said, all I need tonight is your expectation. For surely, if you have an expectation, there is an end. Hallelujah. Habakkuk chapter 2. Don't turn there. The Bible says, listen. It says, do the vision tarry. Do the vision tarry. Things are permitted to tarry. But they are not permitted to remain forever. It says, do the vision tarry. Not at the beginning. Not at the middle. It says, in the end, it must speak. Do it tarries. That little boy was born and there was a prophecy over his life that he would be the savior of the world. It took 30 years. Though the vision tarried, at the end it spoke. Though the vision tarries, the Bible says in the end it shall speak and God shall not and it shall not lie. Why? The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23, verse 19. God is not a man. That means lying is normal with men. It's part of the human predicament. But the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. He said, no, he see the son of man. That means he is not limited that he can change his words. Before God makes any statement, he looks at his ability, whether his ability can sponsor the gravity of that statement. And it's on the strength of his ability he speaks. Thy expectation. Thy expectation. Tonight, drop whatever impossibilities. The worship team led us and we prayed and we sang all God needs tonight is that you say, Lord, I know you are able. Are you hearing me? This is the one word. This is your own part. If you can play this part tonight, you will walk out with your miracle. Guaranteed. Hallelujah. See, listen. Let me tell you something. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. You see, these things that we do are not just a way of 
doing programs. Are you getting my point? This is a prophetic platform that God puts together so that you can experience the love and the authority that comes with the name of Jesus. Do you believe this? Let me show you one scripture and then I'll begin ministering. Luke 9 verse 1 and 2. I want you to know that diseases and sicknesses are curable. Look at me. If I ask somebody who is short to remove this bulb, the person may not be able to reach there. If you carry a theory and say it's impossible to remove the bulb there, is that true? It was impossible for you, but it does not mean it's impossible. Luke 9, verse 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples. Can you give us an amplified? Then he called together the 12 apostles and gave them power and authority over how many? All demons. It says, and to cure diseases. What does a drug do? A drug does not heal. It cures. Is that true? Next verse, verse 2. And he sent them out. He gave them power before sending them. And he sent them out to announce and preach the kingdom of God. And to demonstrate it by bringing healing. That means their presence comes with it. It's part of the carriage that comes with the grace. It didn't say to heal people. It said to bring healing. To bring it. To bring it. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? I want you to understand the kind of atmosphere. Because you see, the trouble with many believers is that when we try our, our human, our, we, are, we are very short-lived in patience. So when you trust God to heal that cancer and it looks like medically speaking is deteriorating. And then you wonder and say, Master, we have told all night. We've had this thing again and again. But tonight, I bring you a word, there is an end. The Bible says, in the end, the vision will speak. This is December. You will not take anything that is supposed to be accomplished this year into next year. Yeah. Next year is a fresh cycle. Are you getting my point? Surely there is an end. Brothers and sisters, it does not take time. It only takes God. Ah, it doesn't take time. It only takes God. For when God steps in and stamps his feet upon your situation, it will change at once. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Yeah. I hear the chains falling. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. I give the chain falling. I give the chain. If you're sick in your body tonight, listen, if you're sick in your body tonight, I want you to prepare to walk out of this place healed. I don't care what you came with. Are you listening to me? Prepare to walk out of this place. Listen, no matter how small it is, don't give excuses. No matter, even if it is headache, even if it's your hair falling, contend tonight and say, Lord, this is December. I would have been quiet if it was September. But this is December. There is no other 2013 again. There is an end. Hallelujah. 
the last day is the day when everyone can partake he said jesus said on the third day if any man thirst the last day is the day for everyone hallelujah we are going to take instant miracles in this place instant miracles hallelujah are you listening to me so i want you to have expectation as we begin to pray and as the word begins to come shake up that sickness check yourself do what you couldn't do before listen 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 see brothers and sisters we are not faking this thing you are seeing are you are you getting what i'm saying well, this thing we are not faking it what do we have to gain to come and stand here and just be acting we are not faking this thing so you had better believe don't just let your neighbor rejoice if it was joshua selman who was doing this thing in my own strength i'll tell you just go home because i'm wasting your time oh but there is a name john said there is one mightier than i mightier there is a government that backs what you see happening and tonight we want to let every devil in hell know that we arrived december and we must finish strong hallelujah you're going to rise up and we'll pray just for five minutes and in that prayer you're going to say lord visit me i will clap for my neighbor but after i receive my own whatever you came here with tonight lift your voice and begin to pray no matter how impossible it is take your eyes take your eyes please take your eyes away from any impossibility Yes, Lord, you are able. Yes, Lord, you are able. Pray. Say, Lord, that cancer will go. That barrenness will go. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Hey, <laughs> Hallelujah. Refuse to go back the same. Some of us came from end to end of this nation. You can't travel all the way in the air on the road and just come and enjoy and go. No, no. Tell yourself I'm coming to get something. hallelujah 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 now please listen i want to encourage us especially for those of us who are sick it's important to respond to the prophetic word do what you cannot do and please when you there will be all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds not just healings hallelujah even those who will be delivered don't you think you are just falling for nothing something will happen to you hallelujah many of us even as the meeting is going we're going to be receiving words from our loved ones that things are happening things are changing hallelujah don't be afraid and don't be ashamed this is the last service we really have to be very fast i'm saying this because we may not have all the time again hallelujah praise the lord are you ready for what god will do in your life You do not want to know the amount of prayer and fasting and travail that goes into these meetings. Don't let these suits deceive you. Hallelujah. Father, glorify yourself tonight. Let no man, let no man take the glory. Tonight, 
I ask you, your people are in pains. Your people are in tears. Their family members are dying. They are being eaten up by diseases and sicknesses. And Lord, if you do not step in tonight, there is nothing we can do. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee. O Israel. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Blessing. 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 There is a lady by the name Blessing. I'm hearing the Lord is ministering to me. Blessing. Please, if I just call your case, let's just hurry up very quickly so that we save time. Blessing. Shall come to thee, O Israel. Jesus. I need to pray for you. Look at me. Where's your mother? We need to pray for her. That that which the devil purpose will not come to pass. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Father, step in into the mother's life and change things right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything that is not of God be changed right now in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your stomach and I pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. Come out now! Shall come to thee, O Israel. Hallelujah. My dear, this you. You must let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let every infirmity, darkness, let this. Let it leave her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the other people, God bless you in Jesus' name. We have to rush. Praise God. I believe in casting out devils. No advancement, no technology will confuse us. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because at the root of many people's situations even what you think is sickness the power of god is present bring them out that devil of darkness listen satan comes to steal to kill and to destroy but he says I am come that ye may have life. Hallelujah. The Bible says upon Mount Zion certain things will happen. It said there will be holiness. And then there will be deliverance. And after that the way will be cleared and the sons of Jacob will now possess their possessions. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
and the devil is going to bow tonight. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Sing it once from your heart. Make every change. Make every change. One more time from the place of your heart. There is power in the Myself again, but I told you causes exist, yokes exist. There are people carrying them today who have been deceived that nothing is going, nothing is wrong. But on account of what Christ has done, our job tonight is to stamp it by the power of the Holy Ghost. So, right now, we are going to set on fire everything that has not been planted by God. Hallelujah. I want you to get ready because the Bible says surely there is an end it says for surely there is an end if it had a beginning it has an end rise up on your feet everyone Hush. hallelujah praise the Lord see the power of God will shake many of us inside and outside to the foundations until everything that does not look like him leave. Are you getting me? There is, there is fire in this place, especially for those outside. We are going to count three and we will shout that name, Jesus. I want you to get ready. At the shout of that name, not just for you, hallelujah, not just for you alone but for your loved ones whatever will not let you go this night must go for you hallelujah are you ready now thank you jesus christ see i'm telling you i see a lot of oppression especially outside a lot of oppression this is why god has sent us bible says he gave them authority he gave them power said through who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness hallelujah lift your hands everybody at the count of three i want you to shout listen these are the things that limit people these are the things that limit destiny and tonight god has brought us so that we can experience his power hallelujah there's fire in this place at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus inside and outside. The overflow here and the other one there. Shout Jesus at the count of three. And at the mention of that name, let's see the power that will stand. Hallelujah. Tonight is your night of liberty. Bring them out, please. Ushers, be sensitive. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Let your power move across this place inside and outside i confront gates and doors and altars and yokes and everything that is not of god the presence of god is here and in the mighty name of jesus it will bow are you ready now one two three let god's people go 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 every foul devil every wicked spirit inside and outside come out now come out now come out now shake it shake it 
Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let God's people go now. Are you ready to shout one more time? Are you ready to shout one more time? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, every altar of darkness, I set on fire outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. Let the fire of God move outside. We dethrone principalities. We command an exodus. We command liberty. Let God's people go by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. Hallelujah. Now we are going to pray. Listen. This one is not just you right now. But your family members. Hallelujah. Many of you, what will happen to you now will be the power of God challenging the things that camouflage themselves in your family. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Don't tell me there's nothing going wrong. Don't let the devil confuse you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. At the count of three. I want you to shout that name again. There are a lot of people outside. Especially from this first overflow. A lot of people outside. Listen, if you love your family members, I'd like you to stand. Stand for them. This is the root problem that disguises itself it it may have different names he said the enemy has done this don't let technology confuse you upon mount zion there shall be deliverance are you ready now lift your hands please jesus thank you my god there will be a mighty wave of the spirit all you need to do for me is to flash the symbol are you ready now at the count of three with all your heart my god let your power move representing families with dethroned yokes in the name of jesus one two three Jesus. families be free families be free jesus. i challenge altars yokes Tying down families, tying down families. Hey, I, come, I, come, I, come. I command, lose them now, lose them now. Every enchantment, every divination, now be loose, be loose by the fire of the Holy Ghost, be loose. Let 
For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, heal the sick, cast out devils. Now every foul spirit afflicting these people at the count of three time up you must go one two three go 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 on your mark set go 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 now go 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 don't waste our time go out of them and go now there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Bring her, don't worry, your the name of Jesus. Bring her to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Just bring her here. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Bring her. Don't waste our time. Go. Leave her. Leave her. Go. Now. Help. That's the end. Go. We don't have all of that time to waste. We have to do a lot of things. Hallelujah. Listen. There are two people outside. Ushers, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. The power of God will pick them and bring them inside. Right now. It will happen right now. Two people outside. Please just guide them so they don't injure themselves. Right now. Let the angel. That confirms the word of the Lord right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Two people outside. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Hallelujah. You had a dream. Please listen to me. You had a dream. And the snake, a snake beat you on your left leg. A dream. It was in a dream. But it was very real. Please, who is that person? Please, let's save them. Come out quickly. You're a guy. Come out quickly. You're a guy. Let's hurry up. If you're still thinking about it, go back to your seat. Snake beat you on your left leg.
Praise the Lord. Now, there is a lady here. Please listen. There is a lady here. You hear voices and they speak to you. This has happened for a long time. I mean real voices. Evil voices I mean. Now, not the voice of the spirit. In fact, it's one of the things that has bothered you. You've shared it with a friend. Please, who is that? Very quickly. Very quickly. Come very quickly. I'm just flowing by the spirit right now. I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling. Lump in the left breast has just been healed. Lump in the left breast. The Lord is healing someone. Please check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Lump in the left breast just got healed right now. Hallelujah. Brother, hold my hands. Whatever has not been planted by God leaves you now. Look at me. Look at me. Your spiritual life. You see, the Bible says, He that breaks the hedge, the serpent will strike. Your spiritual life must be on fire. I give the chains. Please hold my hands. Let her go now. Thou devil. Come out. I see you in the spirit. Out. I give the chains falling. Look at me, my dear. Jesus will set you free. Okay? You believe that? Hold my hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let her be free right now from those demonic voices. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your stomach. We cancel that report. You will never hear any report of fibroid or growth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my dear. Look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. You want to be very serious with him because this is what the Lord is asking. It's not just the issue of healing and miracle. You see, listen, God is not a magician. It's not somebody you just run to, collect miracle and run and go back to do your life. My dear, the lady standing behind the two ladies with yellow, lift your hands. You, just lift your hands and look at me. How dare you defy the presence of God? How dare you defy the presence of God? Mm. For he will give us the eyes of eagles. Now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you are going right now. For I've seen you in the spirit. One, two, three. Out of her right now. Go, 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 go. I see the chains falling. Yeah. I see the chains falling. Hallelujah. God bless you. We have a lot to do. My brother, you love the Lord with all your heart. I want you to know that when you stay in his presence, it melts away every darkness. You must believe this. Hallelujah. You must believe this. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. When he finds himself in you, it becomes a doorway. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. And touch not your unclean thing. I set you free in the name of Jesus. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Please quickly. I set you free. Now, I want to pray for people with peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Please, peptic ulcer, just come out quickly. File out here quickly. Please, let's save time. Our brother is wedding tomorrow and we don't want to take too much of your time. While they are coming out, let's appreciate our soon-to-be groom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our brother, Jimmy, and his wonderful wife-to-be, Hope, wave your hands. Hallelujah. 
Tomorrow by this time they'll be happily married. So we really don't have much time. Peptic ulcer. Please come out quickly. Break every chain. We're going to minister to everyone. Just please, I hope we all have a sir. Please lift your hands. You yes, just lift it high. Look at me. That devil right now, I command to leave you. Just look at me. Just look at me. Right now. Take your hands off his life. Right now. Right now. Come out of him right now. I hear the chains falling. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Please look at me. This is not magic. We are not playing games. This is business tonight. Right? You have a role to play. Your role is to believe God. Forget about me. Are you following me now? Hi. Good to see you. Come. She used to hold my Bible those days. Come now. No. She used to hold light for me. Remember? First and second generation here and I. Third generation. The Ajebo people. They will know. Hallelujah. This is where the ladies that went for crusade those days. We were broke, but we had God. So we knew it was just a matter of time. Hallelujah. And then they used to climb the trees to plug firewood. But now most of our ladies, oh, the stove is not good. I want microwave. I'm just joking, but I'm serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That devil is a liar. So I'll start with you. Can I pray for you? Please make sure you have your request. I'm so glad we have a lot of men of God here. I saw Prophet Bab celebrate him. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Manasseh in the house, celebrate him all the way from Abuja. We're going to do a lot of that, but Pastor Williams is here. Hallelujah. The pastor house on the rock, Kano is here. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Jakes, all the way from Abuja. Bishop is here. Good to be married. He's just smiling. He has been smiling. Hallelujah. Okay, I see Suleiman. Suleiman is here. And we're happy to have Kenny back too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Alright, let's, let's deal with the issues we have now. Praise God. Please, while you're standing there, I want you to be praying. Even as we minister to these people, the Lord will heal you now in Jesus' name. It will be very fast because we have a lot of cases to deal with. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah. There is something the Lord is showing me. There is someone is already becoming for you like madness. Madness. Sometimes you start talking or doing things as if you're not in your right mind. Please, if you're here or somebody brought him, immediately we finish, just bring the person out. It's, it's like madness. Hallelujah. It's like madness. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. As we worship in your presence. There is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I believe. Jesus, there is healing. The Holy Spirit to touch is blowing Jesus. We believe, we believe Jesus. Jesus. There is healing in your
to the sick if you brought any sick person this is the time to minister to them hallelujah i won't be doing this alone i'm glad we have um a lot of hands and we're going to do that please carry him if you, if you can't get up just take him and let him lie down somewhere there so that we can have space come just on ha. you won't be mad in jesus name seen a whirlwind over your head let him go now 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 all right so you came with someone sick please come out quickly please if you came with children if you came with children don't leave them alone just come out with them so that we can minister to them Quickly, please bring them out. Worship team, you're going to lead us. And um, let's have all of them. Ushers, coordinate them. Hold on, what's wrong with her? Let me just start with her quickly. What's the issue? Hold on. While they come, please hurry up. If you came here for healing, just come and line up quickly. What's her issue? Let me just pray for her. I'm very touched seeing her. Who brought her? She came on her own. Did she tell you she's sick? What's wrong? Hepatitis. That's, that's what is wrong with her now. Or she just fell down. Hold my hands. Mm, I bring you life. The power of the kingdom I represent. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are not hepatitis. You are a spirit. You won't confuse us. Go. Now. Out of her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let her rise up whole. Just let, let, just let, leave her down. She rise up whole. Hallelujah. Those of us standing here, I need you to know that there are two great spiritual weapons that are responsible for the release of God's healing. Please listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Healing comes from the body of Jesus. But in scripture, there have been two categories of scenarios that compel the healing power of God. Number one, when people acknowledge the lordship of Jesus Christ. Second, when they cried for mercy. God cannot hear mercy and not act. Blind Bartemius said, have mercy on me. The Bible says, it is only for the Lord's mercy. Otherwise, it would have been consumed. He said, I will have mercy. Even favor can happen only when mercy is released. Hallelujah. He said, thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. The goal is not mercy. The goal is favor. But without mercy, the favor of God cannot show up. Mercy is not for sinners. It's the character of God that compels his compassion. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with getting born again. Praise the Lord. Look at these children. Only God knows what is wrong. See my friend with beer, beer cap. Come. Let's start with you. You and your brother. <laughs> Look at them. Turn around. Let's see you wonderful children with their beer caps. You must be healed. In Jesus' name. Alright, so I'll invite the men of God, Jakes, Bishop, Manasseh, Ejimi, how about healing the sick and casting out devils on your wedding eve? That's right. Rather than drinking beer and receiving a yoke that you cannot manage. Praise the Lord, Prophet Sir. Please, we're going to minister to them. Just, just direct them. It really doesn't matter who prays for you. Don't just say you must be. No, don't. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship team, are you ready? So let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. We will do this very fast. Okay, I'll pray for them. 
Go ahead. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Out of her. God is go, go, go. a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is. Let me hear you say do the possible. I 
hallelujah please as we are praying for you make sure you check yourself check yourself a lot of things are happening please stand up everybody hallelujah now i'm seeing somebody you're having a burning sensation it comes very strongly especially in the night like your half right side almost the whole of your half right side burning sensation from your chest region down sometimes to your leg please wish that person come out quickly come out quickly come out quickly and then the lord is showing me someone in fact a number of people you are up to five hallelujah you feel something moving in your body this has happened recurrently sometimes it's so much you even have to turn you feel it literally moving please come out quickly 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 please let's save time that devil must go you're the one feeling this heat I'll pray for you right now. Hold my hands. I rebuke stroke. Ah, wow. I rebuke stroke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to leave you once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Moving objects. It will go right now you okay hold my hands look at me i set you free in the name of jesus christ be healed now in jesus name i'm going to pray for you now everything that is not of god must bow the bible says your body is the temple of the holy spirit it says glorify god in your body Hallelujah. Daddy, what's, who brought him? He came by himself. What's the issue, sir? Moving object of my body. Moving object. You can imagine a man like this and the devil just comes, that wicked devil. Daddy, the Lord Jesus sets you free. Please hold my hands. This is the spirit of death. This is not moving object. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. So we bring you life from the kingdom that we represent. Satan, take your hands off his body. Blessed is he who comes singing the name of our God. Let your health and vitality be restored in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. We may not have time to minister to you one by one. Just hold your hands together and I'll pray for you. All those in this category. So I can just use one person as a point of contact. Hallelujah. What happened to you? Accident. You had what? An accident. When? On the evening. And you injured yourself. What did the doctor say happened to you? Oh, okay, and they treated it for your healing as well. The Lord will accelerate everything. That devil is a liar. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. Father, I use my brother as a point of contact to all of these people. Right now, every devil of darkness that parades itself as moving objects in their body, I command you now, in the name of Jesus Christ, off you go, this moment. Right now, in the name of Jesus, set God's people free. I command that, that movement stops in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the movement stops. You will never have it again because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat very quickly. I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease this is what the lord is showing me i'm seeing a woman having a terminal disease i believe is the mother of somebody here um 
Where? Where is she? She's at home. You stood in for her. You believe Jesus will heal her. She will be healed in Jesus' name. Can I use you as a point of contact? Yes. Lift your hands. Something's moving, changing. Sound help us, huh? I have an attack in the night. They attack me in the in my head. <laughs> that time, all over my body, is, I have. Uh, I used to defeat all the time. How long has this been? It's twenty since nineteen eighty eight. That's how wicked Satan can be. Some of you were not born. When the devil has been oppressing you. He's an old man. Satan is not young. That old serpent story is a very old story. Praise the Lord. The Bible called him a murderer. Who did he murder? Hallelujah. Mommy, look at me. What could you not do before? What can you not do now? Sometimes that thing hooked me. Like... Four to five to six months, I can't get up and do anything. So since last year, throughout, since November last year, till July this year, I am not been feeling fine. I sit really. If you're healed now, will you know? Yes, sir. Okay, watch your miracle happen to you right now. Okay? Watch it happen. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes so that you enjoy the miracle as it happens. Praise the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. God isn't done with her yet. Heal her mother, Lord. Mommy, hold my hands. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. Thank you for healing me. For healing me. Father, thank you. Let your power set mommy free. Now! That wicked spirit that oppresses her. Go. Your time is up. You are a spirit. And tonight you bow. The life of God is entering your body, mommy. That's what you're feeling. What do you feel happening to you now? Something is leaving you. Yes. Huh? Yes, my body. All my body is suffering. Is what? All oh, my body is shivering. It's it's shivering. Yes. Your whole, that's the power of God. It's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I set her free right now, Lord. Let the chains be broken now. Every power go from 1988 till now. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Mama, look at me. Um, it's not good to ask you how old you are, but let's do something. All right? Something that can make you tired and let's see what happens. How do you feel in your body? Go ahead. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. <laughs> Could you do this with God? How do you feel in your body right now? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay right now. Give Jesus a praise. Do what you couldn't do, Mama. Put a song for Mama to dance. Look at Look at how she came. Come on now, worship team. Mama, you are going to dance to the shame of the devil. Look at, can you see her face now? Look at the woman that just came. A few I minutes right now. Mama dance. Bless you, 
mama, you are healed. Go back healed and enjoy yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ear problem. There's someone you came here with ear problem. You came here with ear problem. I'm seeing someone with ear problem. What, what was the issue? Oh, we have to save time. We have to save time. So, I do have ear problem. What does that mean? You don't hear very well with this? Yes, and sometimes like water. Which one do you hear well with? This one. Okay, close that one. Close both of them. Just look at me. Be open now. You sense fire moving along that ear. That's the power of God. Let it be open right now. I'm feeling what you're feeling. That's why I know that that's what is happening to you. The power of God is carrying out his surgery on that ear. Look at, look at. Can you see the power of God? Look at, look at what is happening. You see what is happening on that ear? Look at what is happening on that ear. Look at what is, is opening. Look at what is happening on that ear. That's the ear that is not working well. That's the power of God setting her free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at, look at this. This is the, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm not doing anything. For those who don't believe these things, you know this lady. Look at, look at what is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let her be free. Perfect freedom. Don't worry. Just let her, God is walking. 17 seconds and you are healed. Come exactly. Jesus. Close that ear. Give Jesus a big, 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 big shout of praise. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Which of them? Which of them? Lay your hands on all the ones that have a problem. Mama, is your eyes? Ah, Mama, okay, no problem. No problem. She, please, just, just leave her. You people don't know what she has gone through. Your eyes. What's wrong with it? Sometimes so I, well, I can't see between the day from my front. Like, what can you not? Okay, what can you see now? I'm seeing. I'm seeing, but I didn't see it well. You are not seeing this thing very well now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll pray for you. <laughs> she had faith. She said, ah, if they won't call my case, let me call it by myself. <laughs> Let's hurry up. Hallelujah. How long has it been? For more than. Seven years. More than seven years. I can't hear with this ear. Ah, ah. That devil is a liar. Yeah. Huh? Put your hands on both of your ears. You too? What's your own? Mine was since when I was five. Water just keeps on coming out. And Water comes, comes out. Yes. That devil is a liar. Huh? Your ear is not a river. The Bible says out of your belly, not your ear. So that's anti scriptural. Put your hands there right now. Put your hands, both of your ears. Please, I want you to expect the power of God to touch you. Lord, we give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. That devil of deafness, I curse you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I bring you life. I bring you the power of the kingdom that we represent and that wicked spirit. You see the same thing happening to her? Are you seeing the same thing? This is not fake. Are you seeing the same thing now? Two different people, same operation of the spirit. Look at, look at it. Mm. See her face, she's even surprised seeing her hand shaking. Thank you, Jesus.
let there be perfection in this year. Yeah, I speak to you. Be open. Just take your hand away. You'll see the power of God going through your body. Which one couldn't you hear with? Close the one you can hear with. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace. Come on, give Jesus a big clap. She doesn't hear at all. At all with that ear. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. How about you? Which of the ears? Close the one that is good. Moses, Joshua, Ruth, Jesus, I'm free. Come on, give Jesus a big, 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 big clap of praise. My sister, it goes forever. Do you believe this? You're happy about what God has done. It has gone forever. Mama, let's attend to you now. You came out because you believe in Jesus. I'm going to pray for your eyes and your eyes will be open. Jesus. Son of God, I believe in you. Perfect, Mama's eye, oh God. Cataract, cataract, that's what is wrong with you. Cataract, that's the name of the sickness. For your power and for your glory. For your power and for your glory. Now, is there any improvement? Is there any improvement? Yes. What can you see? Hold on. Hold on, please. What can you see now? I see them. Cattle. No, no, no. You are seeing them now. No. Could you see them very well before? You could not see them at all. Yes. Try to tell me the color of the tie that man is wearing. Just this, one. this tie. Yes. This. Is yes. Red. red. What of what they are wearing? Blue. You couldn't see them before. Yes. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Mama, look at that time. What is the time? Can you see? It? Eight, nine. No, it's, it's not nine yet. Don't worry, just approximate. Her. How can I help this woman? Hope I'm doing the right thing. Okay. okay. How many people are standing there? Yeah. How many gentlemen are standing? Two. 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 What color of suit is the other one wearing? The dark one. The black one. Yes. This one, like color, like a or something. But the other one is what color? Black. Black. Come on, give God praise. The Lord perfects your eyes, Mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's your mother. You are using glasses. Where are they? Okay. What can you not see now? People that are standing up far off there. And then in class, I can't see the board. I can't see what is okay. So let's, let's just hurry up. What's, what's he for? You are using glasses too. And you're tired. Okay. So. Okay. So we're going to pray for you. Please, let's... You don't know how terrible the sickness is until uh, it comes on your body. It won't come on you. 
we have a few minutes guys and we're done we have to hurry up um there's a there's a part of a prophecy where i speak over your life can we begin to collect the prayer requests so that we kill two birds with one stone please your prayer request very quickly if you do not have a prayer request please write it's not a religious ritual at all god gave us an instruction the bible says how that hezekiah went to the temple and dropped the threat before the lord and said lord behold your threatenings so i'll pray for you what are you all here for hi from my dad my your dad has eye problem my grandmother has a eye your dad too has eye problem my grandmother my grandmother your grandmother yes. ah how old is she i don't know no 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 but the bible talks about joshua who was old okay hold your hands together please let's save time you can begin to submit your request please inside and outside hold your hands no no just these two just two of you just two of you let me pray for you jesus heal their parents heal all the people who are sick right now let the power of god cause healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ how about you eye problem lay your hands on your eyes you too lay your hands you too lay your hands all of you all of you with high problem ah you play drums and you're blind uh, oh your mom okay father in the name of jesus christ okay now we're having more people just coming to say i'm tired what do we do now all right eye problem both out here and wherever you are um okay just lay your hands on your eyes and i'll pray for you Please, we're not playing games. Don't think we're faking it. We're very, very serious. Very serious. Very serious. Thank you, Jesus. Please write your requests. Write your request. This is December. Whatever it is that you're trusting God to do for you. Ha! The power of God is moving already. It's touching more than the ice. It's not just ice. Satan, go! Go! Right now. Let that I thing live by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. I touch your eyes. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Please check yourselves. You can go back to your seats and check yourselves. Check yourselves. God bless you. Sweet out your eyes. As young as you are, lay your hands. Perfection, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection for Gladys. Please, as you go back, check yourself. Hallelujah. Let's have the requests. There's someone that was diagnosed of a heart problem. You have a heart problem. I must attend to you. Heart problem. Please, heart problem. I want to pray for you now. This thing is eating you up. It's a heart problem. It's causing weakness in your body. You can't even move far. You begin to... Who is the person? You are the one with a heart problem? What did they say is wrong? You are not the only one. The person I'm seeing is very lean. This thing is eating you. Blood is not pumping well in your body. And it's causing weakness of your body. What's wrong? I just go straight to the point. What is what? What did they say? What did I was told? My heart was too large for too much stress. Your heart is too large for too much stress. For what? Too much stress. What does that mean? Doctors, doctors. Okay. Your heart is too large for too much stress. Oh, from too much stress. Ah, uh -huh. stress. Footballer. We are going to pray for you here. You are going abroad. You are going abroad. You will come back and testify. I saw a plane just pass over his head. You are going abroad. He's a footballer. He's going to be a very professional footballer. Father, empower his feet. Bless him. Look at me. Don't forget about God. Hmm? Money can change people and money can destroy. Don't forget about God. You are an ambassador. We're sending you there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Heart problem. 
Ah. Uh, what did I pray for now? Okay. Lay your hands on your chest. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Go! Right now. Be healed from the heart problem. Brother, look at me. Lay your hand on your chest to return back to its normal size right now. Huh? There is no reason for you to be stressed. Huh? If you die today, the world will still continue. Please don't let the devil cheat you. There is no reason. The Bible says, cast your cares. This world has too much worries that can kill you if you let it happen. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Heart, return to your normal position. What did they say is wrong with you? It's my palpitation. They call it hypertrophic uh, myocardia or something. Hypertrophic my I don't. Uh, what does it do? Medical. What does it do to you? It doesn't yes. pump. Uh, my heart doesn't. Yes, pump the Lord showed me. It's not pumping blood in your body, so and it I makes you me. weak. I huh? Bring out foam, foam from my mouth. You bring out foam sometimes. So, I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a wound inside you. Huh? You feel pain around your chest. This is a wound, huh? And the wound is rotting. We need to pray for you. This is what is happening. Whatever the name is, I don't want to know. All I know is that this is the devil. Machines cannot detect spirits. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. My brother, look at me. Look at me. If this meeting is just for only you, I want you to be healed. Huh? You believe it? How long has this been? Two months now. Two months. Yeah. They diagnose you with this. Yeah. Lay your hands. Is that what is responsible for your weight loss? Yes. Huh? Yeah. You started losing weight. Yes, sir. Jesus, this is why you put this meeting. Whatever your name is, leave this body now. Heart, be restored. You feel the fire of God moving around your chest. That's God. I command that wound to close now. Creatively close up this moment. Hmm, God is doing a work in you. I command your weight to return in the name of Jesus Christ. You will testify, you return here with your testimony. How about your heart problem? I feel pain. You feel pain? When I want to read. I can't even you feel pain when you wake up in the morning. If you lie down on this side of the chest, it pains you. It's not heart problem. No. Listen now, let me talk to you. Huh? Do you know what the issue is? What did the doctors tell you? Have you gone to the hospital? You have not even gone. I want to tell you the problem. It's not heart problem. Huh? I'm seeing a name, bronchitis. This is not heart problem. Huh? Hold your hand. This is as a result of cold. And it's, it's, it's affecting you. Huh? You think it's heart because it's at that point. It's not heart. Just lay your hand. You'll be healed. Jesus. Go! Be healed right now. Had what? Vagina. He told me. That's what, that's, that's the, what he told me. Your heart. Yes. It's affecting your heart. When I can I see you. You are even looking weak as you're standing right now. You believe Jesus will heal you? Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I thank you for the healing. For the healing. Lord, let your power flow. This lady perfect her now. Let her go. A wicked spirit. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Something is happening to you. Something is lifting from your chest. See, see the healing? This is, this is a spirit leaving her literally. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I change that medical condition. I plead the blood, the mercy of Jesus breaks every legal access. Mm. I hear the chains falling. With a shout, you will be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. With a shout, you will be free.
Lay your hands on her chest, my dear. With a shout, you will be free. With a shout, you will be free. Thank you, Jesus. With a shout, you will be free. Perfect her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray on these requests. Hallelujah. Before we do that, come. Oh, he's gone. He's gone with his wife. Ah, okay, they have to go and rest. Praise the Lord. I wanted us to pray for them. We're going to pray on these requests right now. Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Sass. Please, can we just come as many men of God that can agree? Please, I believe in the corporate anointing. I believe in the grace of God. Please, I'd like you to pray. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Stretch your hands and pray in tongues. Shakata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba kata prakata kata bala da bosh. Rakata prakata fokoso protoko to bala da baga da baga. Come on, pray, pray. Father, we thank you. Sakata kata prakata bala da 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 bosh. Lete krete kasa to poko to prakata bala da ba. Mambra taka cross. Perfection, oh God. Reto soto proto koto pakate, ente te preto soto no koto prakate. Rento sopro koso prakata banana bos, maka prakata banana bagada prakata banana bos. Ekri soso koto prakata banana bos. Father, let there be miracles, testimonies. We change this prayer request. Reto soto no koto. May they become testimonies in the name of Jesus. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. May they become testimonies. Change impossible situations in the name of Jesus. Change impossible situations by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray. Let your word in Job 16 18 be established. O art, do not cover our blood. Let our cries not find a resting place. Let every cry in the form of prayer, petition, not find a resting place. Until heaven hears and come true. In the name of Yeshua Amashir. We bind the powers of hell. We release. We receive answers tonight. By your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three to skip here. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I want to pray and speak over your life. Healing miracle is just one of the many reasons. There are very few people. The fraction of those who are really sick are very few compared to those who are coming trusting God for other areas. Finance, breakthrough marriage hallelujah i want to pray and break the power of marital delay right now please lift your hands hmm. thank you jesus the power of marital delay It is the will of God for you to get married. Father, I pray. Some of you, it will be for you and your family members. That power of darkness over marriages. Right now at the count of three, I command the power. Because I'm seeing a lot of families tied down. Wherever you are, you're standing in for yourself and your family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
at the count of three let the power of god move in this place and outside and break men free to enter their marital destinies no matter how long it is you're ready now want to shout that name at the count of three one two three break 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 every spell of marital delay i break it now in the name of jesus break 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 go poto kota break break in the mighty name of jesus break every yoke of marital delay break 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 we release supernatural marriages go to pariata break every curse every yoke we apply the blood by the mystery of the blood yet one last plague shall i bring upon pharaoh and upon egypt after that he will let you go we release you into your marital destinies in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah oh yeah they are around okay please let them come they can come we want to pray for them those of you trusting god for jobs please lift your hands i want you to believe this while we We'll pray for them shortly but let's pray for jobs lift your hands i'm going to just shout jesus once and the power of god will locate people there will be mighty testimonies between now and the next miracle service lift your hands promotion comes neither from the east nor the west I don't care who you know or who you don't know we are ambassadors and we legislate on behalf of the parliament of heaven it is within our power to bind and lose he said for i am a man under authority and i say unto one go and he goeth right now in the mighty name of jesus i'm going to shout the name right now jesus let there be jobs whatever power is holding people down from jobs in the name of jesus by the favor of god i command miracle jobs in the name of jesus hallelujah now stretch your hands towards a jimmy was you praying a jimmy and hope a jimmy was one of our ministers here hope was the head of department one time of the welfare it's good to serve the lord when you serve the lord he will bless you that's what the bible says stretch your hands tomorrow there'll be wedding right here please you are invited it's compulsory for the whole koinonia family we must come around and back them and rejoice the time is 10 on the dot the reception is at blue roof hallelujah stretch your hands father bless them bless them bless them we bless you with the blessings of the heavens we bless you with the blessings of the house we bless you with the blessings of fruitfulness. May you find favor with God. May you find favor with men. Your home is built upon love. Your home is built upon wisdom. Your home is built upon understanding and knowledge. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will raise godly children who you will train in the fear of the Lord. And your seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the righteous will be blessed wealth and riches will be in your house in the name of jesus christ we bless you for serving the body of christ we bless you for serving this house may the lord honor you may the lord honor you may your harvest come speedily we connect you with a hundredfold anointing may you see it speedily we command men to help you we command men to bless you 
and Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped may you get the help of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please stand up sir thank you let me give you a big hug it's good to be married all your cake was not for nothing hallelujah God bless you thank you so tomorrow we are here hallelujah now lift your hands I want to prophesy thank you Jesus please believe it for me this is the best part of the miracle service because this is where we allow the creative power that is in the word of God to find expression inside and outside please please Beautiful you are, wonderful you've been, you are glorious, faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward, you are glorious, my God. your hands i command every door that has been closed over your destiny i prophesy to it right now be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. I prophesy upon your life. Rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus. Rise and be distinguished in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command every dead prayer life in this place. Every dead prayer altar in this place. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Come alive now. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, They got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their hand help them. But because you loved them and you showed favor towards them. I want to pray. In the name of Jesus, right where you are standing, may the favor of God mantle you in the name of Jesus. Carry the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Manifest the favor of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon i pray in the name of jesus i command wine pressers i command bakers all those who will recommend you to your place of honor i call them into your life in the name of jesus i call them into your life in the name of jesus and David said, is there any man of the house of Saul left that I may show him kindness? And the Bible says they brought a cripple called Mephibosheth. I pray, no matter what your limitations are, may God send people who will recommend you and honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrow that flyeth by day, nor the noisome pestilence. It says they shall bear thee up on their wings, so that you will not dash your feet against a stone. It says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. But none shall harm you, with your eyes shall you watch and see the reward of the wicked. I command that you are preserved right now. You have no covenant with death. 
you are preserved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it and you will find rest for your souls. I command that that direction you need for the next level of your life, for the next level of your career, in the mighty name of Jesus, may you hear the voice of the Spirit. May it be clear unto you. May it be clear unto you. I open ears and I open eyes to hear and see and comprehend that which the Holy Ghost wants for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the queen of Sheba came and she brought gifts of gold and different kinds of gifts to come and hear the wisdom of Solomon. And the Bible says when she had the wisdom of Solomon, she said that she did not even hear a half. I pray that God will give you a dimension of wisdom that will compel kings to come and hear the wisdom of the Spirit in your life. Receive that dimension of wisdom in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, does any man lack wisdom? Let him ask of God who giveth unto men liberally. Let that dimension of wisdom come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. I command that wisdom begins to function in your life from today. I pray that any plague of death over your life. He said, let there be a mark of the blood upon the lintel. And that when the angel of death comes, when he sees the blood, he will pass by. I declare that there is a mark of the blood that marks you as touch not. Even as you move around during this Yuletide season, I command death is far from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind whatever puts fear in your life i want you to know that your god is mighty and able and let that spirit of fear leave you now in the name of jesus now in the name of jesus i declare whatever your family members have been praying and trusting god for before this year runs out in the mighty name of jesus listen brothers and sisters it does not take time it only takes god it doesn't take time the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating he wasn't revealing what will happen tomorrow anyway the prophetic word created that scenario in the name of jesus everything that is missing that your loved ones are trusting god for by the creative power of god's word we create breakthroughs in the name of jesus Every cause of lack and poverty and financial hardship in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare Lord your people are givers your people are addicted to advancing the kingdom therefore I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ For God give it unto a man that is good in his sight, wisdom and blessings and peace. But to the unbeliever he gives to heap and to travail that he will bring to him that fears God. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. I declare that your business is blessed. I declare that the works of your hands are blessed. I declare that your ministry is blessed. I declare that your family is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be distinguished and be blessed. You will go back home as a savior. Go and heal the sick. Go and cast out devils. Go and raise the dead. 
go and communicate the mysteries of the kingdom i declare that the secrets of the spirit are given unto you and these secrets will grant you power with god and power with men in the name of jesus christ the bible says and immediately his fame went abroad the bible says when he entered the city it was noised it didn't tell us those who publicized it i pray that all those who need to take word about that which god has put in your life that can bless men i compel them to noise it abroad in the name of jesus christ may it be known that you are a deliverer may it be known that you are a man and a woman of wisdom may it be known that you can solve problems all those who have been designed to honor the gift of god in your life to recognize to honor it i pray that god will bring them your way in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus and i pray that there be a hunger for the things of the spirit i plant a hunger in your spirit a dimension of hunger for the word hunger for the presence of god beyond your imagination in the name of jesus christ everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you one more time i prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be returned i pray that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration You can choose not to believe it you will not go to hell but i prophesy again to you that before this year runs out may my god give you a sevenfold restoration in the name of jesus christ doors of opportunities be open doors of grace i command breakthrough into your life in the name of jesus every captivity in your life i prophesy surely there is an end and i call tonight the end of it in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah the bible says you shall call on one person and a nation will respond to you i declare that even those who do not like you will accomplish the purposes of god in your life i compel cyrus's by the power of the spirit to bless you in the name of jesus hallelujah and every request that you dropped here from the depths of your heart we stand in agreement in the name that is above all names and we turn that prayer request to a testimony now we turn that prayer request to a testimony now hallelujah thank you jesus christ keep standing i want to give an opportunity to those who have never made jesus lord of their lives please inside and outside please let's have minimal movement all those who have never made a decision for jesus christ the bible says come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy and heavy laden and i will give you rest it says for my yoke is easy and my burden is light hallelujah inside and outside some of you have given your heart to the lord please let's keep standing if you can the elderly ones can remain seated but please the young people can we stand hallelujah in honor of this great miracle yes it's a big miracle now if you've never made a decision for jesus christ especially many of you outside or you have given your heart to the Lord but you found yourself derailing this is an opportunity 
you have seen the hand of God but all of this is pointing you to the fact that God is love and he wants to establish a vital relationship with you right now as I count one to five I want you to leave your seat forget about anyone you came here with and say Jesus I'm coming to you let's start all over hallelujah begin to appreciate them don't wait for anybody you are the first person one God bless you keep coming God bless you inside and outside please keep coming don't sit back there inside and outside no matter how far we're waiting for you just hurry up and come God bless you two God bless you keep coming but adventure you've been born again and you're saying Lord I want to rededicate my life and make a genuine decision for Jesus Christ three please keep coming don't let anybody stop you whether you're a pastor whether you're a bishop keep coming God bless you God bless you keep coming God bless you this is what it's all about keep coming keep coming it's all about four keep coming there's one last count no matter how far you are outside you can keep coming it's all about hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much i salute you brothers and sisters for coming we do not take it for granted thank you for the boldness i want you to make a decision for jesus christ you don't get born again just because you recited salvation prayer but this is just to guide you and to help you lift up your right hand and say this after me from the depths of your heart it's not a special number mean it from your heart say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me and tonight i make jesus lord of my life forgive me my sins cleanse me from every unrighteousness I declare that I'm saved. The Spirit of God lives in me. My name is in the book of life. From today, I have a relationship with Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. And I make a decision to live for Jesus all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Now let me pray for you. Father, thank you. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. You have brought these ones by the power of your spirit. Preserve them. Let the same grace that brought them out preserve them. Use them for your glory. Empower them. May they be mighty men and women in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, hold on. Thank you for making this great decision. Praise the Lord. I want you to follow the ushers. We'll be having a meeting with you. We'll communicate to you tomorrow by 5 at the chapel. Hallelujah. There will be people there to come and pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, teach you a few things. And um, please try to make it. You'll receive a text to this effect. But just make sure that you are available and we love you. God bless you. Welcome to the biggest kingdom, the family of God. Just follow the ushers, follow the lady waving her hands. Bless you bless you follow the lady waving her hands hallelujah now all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time worshiping with us here at koinonia inside and outside no matter how far you are we have a prayer and a blessing for you i want you to leave your seat and come out gloriously god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you thank you for coming thank you daddy thank you mommy thank you for coming god bless you please keep coming if there's someone seated close to you who is not coming, tell him, come, there is a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Those outside, God bless you. Keep coming. We want to pray and prophesy and appreciate and celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord brought you by the power of his spirit. He brought you to change you. He brought you to build you. You will never be the same. Never, never be the same. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you here. This is Koinonia. Praise the Lord. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And this happens to be our last service for the year. 
We're happy having you around. Praise the Lord. We'll be resuming next year on the 10th. 10th will be our, our next service. And we'd like to see you again and again. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Prayer works here. We are men of faith and of the power of the Spirit. If we bless you, believe me, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands and prophesy. Speak into their lives. You are anointed. You are blessed. So go ahead and bless them. Prophesy. We release words of blessings. You are preserved. We plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.